Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Uh, I did run it a bit off stream, as you can probably tell by the mining prod 18 research. If you've been paying close attention. Uh, I wanted to get more of the Bellerophon scanning done. Because it's going to take a very... Very long time. Veldek, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, we're still scanning uh, Bellerophon. Where radius-wise, we're halfway done. Uh, that obviously doesn't equate to exactly halfway done. It's going to take a while still. Um, I can't remember. I did a couple of other things off stream. Nothing too consequential. Uh, I think, yeah, I fixed the little issue with the input for the, uh, for everything but the Holmanite stuff for quantum processors. I just put the data cards in one container and the other stuff in the other one with, uh, filtered, filtered belts. Expanded, got around to expanding the uh, matter synthesis data, finally. I'm pretty sure that one, yeah, that, that's as big as it ever needs to be. Um, we might have to expand matter containment data at some point, because it's a prereq for other stuff. 5.6 per second might not be enough. Uh, I also did a little touching up of... What was it? The material testing packs? Honestly, uh... Oh yeah, and I, we also got a bunch more Arcospheres on the way back home. Another 43. We went to, uh... Haltergeist. We've actually been to, I think, all of these places now, which is most of the, uh, asteroid fields. For at least 500 launches. But we're still getting a decent, uh, decent number of Arcospheres. 42, 43 out of the last 1,000. As in, out of the last 500 and then the next 500. But yeah, I was just thinking we might even end up having some Arcospheres to send resources upstairs. Because there's just so much train traffic that keeps adding up. Uh, so if we can have, like... Well... There's ten slots in an Arco link storage chest. We could definitely do eight different resources coming up the elevator. Uh, uh, like, skipping the elevator with the Arcos. Uh, maybe... Depending on what we can come up with, with logic and stuff, we could also even do as many as, like, 16 different resources going through... Going through an Arco Link, a, a, a pair of Arco Link chests. Maybe just for the really fast stuff, stack-wise, like uh, material testing packs, for example. Why is there so little here? That's weird, isn't it? Oh, this must be it. No, not quite. Anyway. Um, we've still got some modules trickling through. We're currently up to how much? Wait. I don't think I left this train parked downstairs. Yeah, it took some modules downstairs. 50 prods, 7 efficiencies, and 15 speed modules. Did I say 50 prods? Must have. Because I think this was set to wait for... Nope, never mind. No, it would have been the pickup from the station that was set to wait for at least 50 of something. Cool. So we've actually got... More than two stacks of prod modules. 
Well, you know what that means. It's time to full tier nine. Mary Chrysler, Tyranno, fantastic. Many Mary Chrysler, Morpheus, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very, very much for 19 months. Much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I guess I want to go back to the mall. Mary Chrysler to all. Uh, give me the rest of these. Ooh, doop a doop. Give me the rest of these tier 9 modules. And... I wonder how much we're getting from Bombato at this point. I think it was like 122 per second or something. Uh, core mining drill entity 21 times 11.846. 248.7.8 core frags per second. Almost 250. And what's this capable of? 242. Wow, that one research was worth more than I thought. We're really going to bottleneck on uh, 24 pulverizers with maxed out modules at this rate. Let's head on down. Actually, give me this booter. Straight down this way to Bombato. Wait, I don't think I'm carrying pulverizers. Oh, I'm carrying exactly two. What are the odds? Possibly very high because I might have picked these up myself earlier. Lord Vader, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so yeah, this is 24... That'll manage 264 per second, which is... Uh, it might be a while before we actually need that much. Before we have that much coming from Bombato. I guess we could go add some drills to Bombato, and it really would be 264 per second. Before we even add any more productivity, mining productivity research. But... I'm pretty sure we stopped about here for a reason. It was like the sweet spot where we get a reasonable number of drills over a relatively small area. Anyway, we'll definitely bump that up. And we have another 97... Uh... Why don't we do, instead of Bellerophon, we'll do uh, Picard next. We'll tier 9 module Picard. And that's going to be a lot more, uh, how you say, Vitamelange coming through. It looks like it was already saturated, actually. Hmm. Are all of the Vitamelange train inputs saturated? I think so. Or if not saturated, at least running continuously. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe at this point, it's more important to... Pulverizer. Beacon 2. Probably slightly more than half speed. Maybe at this point it's more important to put high tier modules in more of the blocks that process the Vitamelange itself. Minus 80, plus 160. 
Okay. Uh, I think the block directly abom above Bombato is already prod 9. Fantastic. And the one to the south is probably not. Yeah, no, we've still got a bunch of prod 6s in here. Can you give some examples? Playing without. They work quite well together. K2 adds quality of life plus extra challenge along the way. Mad Dame Salsa, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. There's a whole thread that I missed. FYIT hacks, one of your tags for stream has a typo. God damn it. Uh... Space explore. Space exploration, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Cheers. Also, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think you limited the drills yesterday till the scan of the planet was done. That was uh, Bellerophon, our newest Vitamelange outpost. Welcome in Lord Cero as well. Is it time to decorate the Christmas palm tree today? Just about, indeed. I mean, it's Christmas Eve here. Hello there and Merry Christmas. Prospect, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, let's go for some tier 9s. Um, haven't done all of the filters for this yet. So all of this is tier 9 modules. Yes, fantastic. And... That's plus 100% power consumption. What's the ratio like here? A little bit... A little bit extra negative on the Vitamelange Bloom, perhaps. What if we do one more efficiency module? Because this is five prods. That's more positive on the Vitamelange Bloom than I would like. Hmm... I don't know. I don't know which bottleneck I prefer there. I guess this will mean we can also... Th this will mean we can also turn spice into extract faster. Probably come out ahead with that. Only plus 10 spice if we're converting it all. And instead of like 105, we'd actually get like 100 extract per second because of the bottleneck right before it. Maybe even more than that, actually. That's like less... That's literally 1%. 1% input bottleneck there. The ratio is almost perfect. I don't, I don't mind that. Is that what we did up here? Yeah, that's fine. That's like 16 megawatt here. We're already paying 20 megawatt for the two beacons. Alright, how many more prods do we have? 61. Okay. Uh, in that case... How about this block over here? How many is this? 20... Plus 16, 36. Uh, 16, 32... 52... Plus 9 times 4. 86. We have 61 prods. Hmm. Alright, well, why don't we just start with the earliest steps in the process. Which normally would be Picard, but we're actually, uh, for the moment, overflowing of the Vitamelange itself. So we want to process that faster and get more out of it. How many do we have left? Only nine. Maybe I'll just leave it there for now. Is 
except it's going to be way positive for spice. Uh, or rather for Vitamelange Bloom. Wow, that really is super positive for it. If only I had 11 more prod modules. Um... Hmm. What? Eh. How many more are upstairs? Zero. Okay. What do we have downstairs? 41 prod 7s, 20 prod 8s, 10 prod 9s. We're almost there. Uh, what do I say we need? 11, 22, 44. We need 44 prod 7s to turn into prod 9s. Just a few more minutes. I finished my block, now I'm redoing the sciences so I can focus on interplanetary logistics, indeed. That reminds me, uh, I noticed, I think it was this one? No. Uh, the inter interstellar void probe data, which runs off liquid rocket fuel, is no longer running because we're not supplying liquid rocket fuel anymore. Um, I think it's about time we replace that I think somewhere or other I've got the antimatter version of this ship. Is this it? Nope. No, it is not. I'm sure we, like, left this space for the antimatter version of these ships. Spaceships... Uh, where would we have put them, though? Or would it, would it have been under science? That's not it. That's ion, anyway. Is this it? Surely not. I'm pretty sure that's that's not it. No. Where did we put it? Hmm. I hope I'm not going to have to redesign this ship. It should be under science. Well, why don't we search for... Uh, what is it called? Interstellar Void Probe Data. Probe da... Probe Data? No. Is that underneath different layers of... It's not. Mm, if it's in another blueprint book somewhere, science? This ain't it, chief. Oh boy, there's so much to look through. Mm, why don't we search from here? Probe? Nope, that's the same one we were just looking at. Isn't the number of stations in your blocks very small? My blocks have three stations, six if done in the corners, and I think that's not enough. Uh, what do you mean? We can fit eight stations in these blocks very easily. One, two, three. Yeah, see, two per quarter with a pretty standard layout. Uh, and if we want to be a bit more aggressive, we've got like 16 pickup stations and four drop-off stations here.
I don't know where this where the spaceship design could be. Because the whole point is we left it, we, we shaped it for eventual upgrade. Fusion test and probes. And that was just the probes themselves. Okay, what about in here? That's all ingots and stuff. Components? I don't think so. Although there is a data card there. Uh, we already looked in science. Did we look thoroughly through spaceships? I'm pretty sure we did. That wasn't it, was it? No. Good grief. Mini construction ship. Battleship. Various experiments. Hmm. We might actually have to design it again. That's kind of kind of lame. I didn't look in like Foenestra Bounce or anything, but we shouldn't have to look there. You're kidding. That That's where it is? Why is this in Foenestra Bounce? I think that's our ship right there. Antimatter probe data hauler. Okay. Phone astro bounce. AM data hauler. It, it's a perfect fit. Alright, let's go build that. Um, where's our sputa? Get over here. Turtle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I guess I'll hold on to these nine prods for the moment. And drop me off at the space elevator. And then go home. Okay. Are you using LTN? Yes. Just when I learned how to make blocks without LTN, they announced changes to the trains. True, true. Looking forward to trying to kind of build my own LTN with vanilla trains only. Once we have that update. Uh, I did it again, didn't I? I teleported back to the mall instead of going up the elevator first. Let's just go up to the upstairs mall this way. Okay, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, over at... Where is this headed? Haunted Hollows is where we get our interstellar void probe data. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we already made sure that the new version of the ship will fit here. Yes, cool. Fantastic. Why do these have no ammo? 
Probably because the resupply depends on the throughput of interstellar void probe data. Uh, we do have some of these still active, but that's a little concerning, to say the least. Why do we... Why do we have so much area down here? Because we left a, an old Naquitite mine down here. Okay. Sure. Passenger present and green... I see what happened here. I wasn't standing on the gate to trigger the automatic departure. I guess I could have made it upstairs by now if I'd just waited for the teleporter. In any case, we're going to want to build a new spaceship. Uh, right about here, perhaps? What, why did that just disappear? Because I just went through the elevator, didn't I? That's the wrong ship. Okay. Can we... The antimatter is pushed in from the north on this design. We don't really have a convenient spot to build it. How about here? Oh yeah, and I tidied up the the old mess that we had over here a little bit as well. Looks a lot neater now. Alright, we're going to need an underground pipe. Actually... We're going to need to move this down a little bit. So that we can have a pump facing. It's not that we need a pump, we just need a one-way. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's build this here. And... What settings do we need to copy from this? Definitely the constant combinator, which is probably already part of the uh, design, actually. Or Although this is kind of... It, it's built for a specific... Uh, Nope. Constant Combinator doesn't have anything on it. Okay. So anchor using spaceship right 1. Target left clamp 20. That is this one. And... We've got red wire on one chest, green wire on all the other chests. For the set requests. That looks right. Um, couple of shields, a bunch of fluid isothermics. We're just waiting on some antimatter. All right. So we want to go decon the existing spaceship. That is a lot of construction bots in my inventory. Don't need all this rail right now either. Kaboom. Oh, and we have Arco Spheres here. Uh, let's drop those off as well. Park here and wait a bit. And then once we do that, we're headed down to... The very south tip of the base. And we'll just go decon the old ship ourselves. And then we'll move this one. There should already be uh, antimatter down here. There is. 
Fantastic. Could go ahead and get rid of this. What? Okay. We'll deal with that. Um, Arcospheres go in here. Fantastic. Away we go. I had to create almost 200 waiting conditions to be able to make the blocks work correctly without LTN. I must have spent a hundred hours just to understand how to make the blocks work correctly. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult with, uh, with vanilla trains. Once you reach a certain complexity of what you're trying to do. What is going on here? How? Oh, we unlimited this at some point. Alright, you can go. Might want to do a little refactor here at some point. Have it unlimited with a splitter. Is that going to be the end of it? Nope. Is that the last train waiting for it? Yeah, that'll sort it out. Okay. We have arrived. Let's pick up these bots. Pick up all of this old pipe. Uh, that was for liquid rocket fuel. I don't care about discarding all this. Um, let's switch off the requests for these things at the moment. Oh god, now there's too much in here. What? How did... Oh, I think I see what happened. No, that doesn't actually make sense. Does that mean there's bots hovering at all of these all the time? No. Might do it might give it a little redesign at some point. In any case, time to retire this old ship. How do you still not have room? Uh-oh. I, I think I broke it. We were connected to the RoboPort to tell LTM what we've got. I got rid of this huge storage tank. Oops. Now we've got way too much stuff coming. Okay, not that much stuff. Also, no, that's fine. Why is the ice empty over here? Wait, what do we even need ice for over here? What? Water ice. Oh, is it because we take it out to the out? Post? Not that I can see. Water ice. Yeah, it goes over here. Um. Okay. This is asteroid field one one five three. Yeah. 
Oh, right. We're using the signal receiver to set the request for the water ice. That makes sense. Okay. You are... What was our naming convention with these? Interstellar Void Probe Data Hauler. Feels weird having the spaceship console way back here. And check. Do I don't remember if we needed to put a speed limit on these things. Oh wait, we are speed limiting it based on the accumulator charge. Good, good, good. Alright, launch, and it should pop in here in just a second. And it should pop in here in just a second. And it should pop in... Okay, what the hell is going on? Interstellar Void Probe Data Hauler. Is the constant combinator switched on? It is. Anchor using spaceship right clamp to target left clamp. 1 to 20. 1 to 20. Does it not fit because of where the requester chests are or something? It's not saying that it's trying to... That it's trying to land there. Oh. It needs to be... Destination needs to be set to Hagen Orbit. There we go. Cool. Antimatter can flow in. Fantastic. I guess we'll just leave that where it is. Alright, so we'll switch on the requests again. Wait, where are the logi bots? Each times negative one output each. If space probe rocket equals twenty. Output green. Read logistic network contents. What? Oh, right. Because we need to determine how much is in the ship. And since we're... Isn't this supposed to be set requests? Sure it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these containers need to be read. Because we're reading positive from the RoboPort, negative from what I, what's stored in here. We're subtracting this from what's in the robot network. And then if space probe rocket equals 20, it means there's 20 in here. Good, good, good. Hanging by the train stop? Hanging by the train stop. Hanging by the... Oh, there's a bot? Yeah, true. Okay. Um, let's just set all of these storage containers to be the button. And then they'll drain out eventually. Uh, and I'm pretty sure... Let's just double check. If there was no ice over here, then then what? I thought that would mean we'd put ice in here. We read the ice. 
goes over here. Each times negative one output each. So that's negative ice count. And this is a positive ice count for an amount that we want. So since we've got... We're only looking for a thousand and somehow we have 12,000 here. Yeah, so... If ice was positive going through this... There's not even a green wire here. Um, okay. Do we need to connect the green wire up to this? Or just... Is that the only one of these that's dependent on ice? Possibly? Calidus asteroid belt is powered by solar. And no doubt... You're also missing ammo. Oh, that's scary. That's... that's a bit spooky. Uh, so don't tell me our asteroid belt probe data. We've still got plenty of it. We haven't been consuming enough of it, apparently. Um, I think... I think we should probably do delivery of ice, media defense ammo, and stuff like that to those outposts on a completely separate system. They could even land at the same spots. But this is obviously not cutting it. Does your base not have a complete have complete bot coverage. No, it does not. We don't want the bots traveling 600 kilometers. Um, also, we get up to 50 logi bots in each robot network before they start crashing uh, in space exploration. And if bots travel, the shorter a distance a bot travels, um, where's a better example? The shorter a distance a bot travels, the faster it moves items around. Um, it's not the best example right now because they're almost empty here and these uh, requesters are full. But when when this is the only area the logi bots need to cover, they're much, 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 much faster. If it's like literally across one tile, they're ridiculously fast. Like way faster than belts. Okay, um, but yeah, apparently, did we just dump a bunch of ice out there and it's lasted this whole time? And we didn't even know there was something wrong with this? This has only got a green wire attached to it, right? And we're reading from the red wire over here. If anything greater than zero outputs spaceship launch. A spaceship launch greater than 300, so that's a timer. Oh, it also reads from here. So in other words, if there's a ship here. No? It, it's attached to the constant combinator. This should just always be true. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Well, in any case, uh, this condition also has to be true. We have the right number of green signals. One, two means we've got 20 of each of these in the ship. Uh, three means we have enough fuel. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Interstellar void probe data in the robot network is down to zero, which is true. Bots have stopped moving, which is true. Antimatter fuel is full, which is true. One, two, three. Uh, 
four, five. Oh, it's already running. So why are we not... How is the ship not launching right now? Because it's sent on the red wire. And that's not going to the spaceship console. Is it supposed to? I think so. Yeah. We just didn't have that in the blueprint. Okay. So that goes here. Nothing's going to come from the spaceship input or the Naquim accumulator that's going to affect set requests. That should be fine. And that's going to get it to launch. But we should at least for now set up water ice requests. Even if we don't need water ice right now. If I just do green wire to here... That probably wouldn't cause a problem, right? There's the request for ammo. Okay, so that is working. We're probably sending double what's being asked for. Let's see. Yeah, so we want like 120 ammo. And we've got none. That's how much we want in this container. Okay. Uh, and if we were to pretend we had no ice for a second... There should be ice coming into the ship, even though the request is already gone. Oh! That should be it. Now we connect the red wire and the ship should launch. Fantastic. We should probably babysit the ship just a little bit to make sure it's nowhere near... What's our max? Our max target speed is 400. Um, so it's just going to go as fast as the antimatter engines can push it until accumulator charge starts to drop. Problem is the network is not networking. <laughs> Indeed. Waffles, welcome in. Petrie Cottontail, good to see you again. Also, welcome, welcome. Difference is, he can do it from scratch. I just flail hopelessly till I cry or it works. Indeed. Okay, um... As much as I want to set up a system to resupply the outposts like this, that's... I think we've already got one somewhere. Because, like... Stardust? The central area in Stardust has this ship drop-off. Or was it this one? Yeah, this one's for supplying ammo and ice. I just don't remember where the ship... Oh, yes I do. It's like here. It's this ship. I think it's only set up to supply specifically Stardust, though. Maybe we could make a dispatch system, because this one ship should be way more than we need to supply these things. And maybe we'll end up getting rid of the old dispatch system entirely if Arculink chests aren't that hard to come by. Okay, anyway. Um, but first, I'd like to update these two in the same way that we just updated uh, Interstellar Void Probe Data. This time, without accidentally triggering way too many train deliveries. I could just send a bunch of this stuff back to the mall, but I feel like that'd be a bit of a waste. Also... We don't need these to be so far away if the pumps are over here. 
Okay. So same treatment for star probe data. It's kind of harder to go about it when you're still full of star probe data. Let's double check that we're actually supplying the other stuff here though. Looks like it's not so bad. Don't need ice this time. Hmm. Yeah, the only one that does need ice is not in the solar system. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the launch signal here. Leave myself a little note. Uh, replace ship when empty. And same deal over here. That might take some time. We can get rid of the uh, request for... Well, we already turned off the requests, but specifically we can get rid of the requests for Ion Stream at this point. Okay. And I guess we could go ahead and make the next one of these ships. Uh... Why don't we make both of them in case I forget where that blueprint is? One here, and one here. And we will, of course, How many tiles is this? 17. That's a 15. Hope the shield's not going to be in the way. I guess we'll be slowly burning antimatter. until we're ready to swap these in. Uh, what's your name? Star Probe Data Hauler, and you are 1 and 19. connect this red wire now so I don't have to remember it next time. And you are 1 and 18 asteroid belt probe data hauler. Okay. So the replacements are already ready and waiting. Once these drain out. Maybe it would be easier if I just make a temporary storage to hold this uh, star probe data. I didn't bring a big blue chest. I did bring I did bring a six by six. That'll do. And I guess we'll just click, click. I definitely want to... Oh. I was going to say make a version of this where the bots don't hover. But I think... No. I was going to say I think that only happened because I used the construction bots here. But no, here we have a hover bot. Um... 
Give me the rest of this as well. And this also. And put down a storage chest. Where are you going with that? Rude. Alright. Don't forget to link this up this time. I honestly don't care enough about some ion stream at this stage. We're not going to take the time to uh, to save it. Oops. Oop. All right. This goes here. That can stay there. And I think we can switch this back on. Wait. Let's clear this out first. No, no, no. Whatever just happened. Make it stop. Uh, just remove the wires. Bonk indeed. I do wish ammo would let us control click it into the trash slots. Not sure why it doesn't. Why are we still bunking? When can I start using the ships? I don't understand rockets very well. Do I have to send a rocket just to supply another planet with rocket parts and fuel? Pretty much. Oil? Ninja dogs, welcome in. Uh, we can control click here. Not holding any more probes. Okay. That's it, yeah. So now we decon this. Decon that. Decon spaceship floor. And... That's why... Yeah, that's why I missed out on the green wire down here. Because it wasn't necessary for the other two. That's probably it. Alright. I think we're ready to switch this back on. It shouldn't trigger any more train deliveries just yet. This is filtered for ice. Good. Uh, not that we need ice here. Let's get rid of those. Okay. So this was for star probe data. Star probe data hauler. Hagen orbit is your destination. And it should appear right here. I feel like it's happening again. Star probe data hauler went to Hagen. Even though we just checked that its destination was Hagen orbit. And it's... It's at Hagen Orbit. The instant that I change it... The instant I change the destination to Hagen Orbit, it anchors. I, I, I'm i very confused. Whatever the case... Uh, these two should say set requests. And then this goes launch when it's ready. Which is now, as a matter of fact. Because we took the star probe data out. Cool. That'll take some ammo back to the sun. 
Not that we're super, super low on it. Think we're done here. This train is bringing star probes. That makes sense. All right. Now we do the same thing again. Pretty much exactly the same thing again. Wait. No, that's fine. Should we do some more research? How about more mining productivity? Level 19 costs 64,000. Or is it... Yeah, 19 costs 64k. Alright. I forgot for a second... We don't need any more wire conditions on these pumps. Make sure that's switched off. It is. We don't need ice where we're going. We don't need no stinking iron. It's really not super expensive at this stage. I don't want to take the time to have a train pick it up. And... I need to get rid of the set requests here. Pick this stuff up. Put it back in storage. That was easier than last time. Decon all of this. And all of this. And this. Okay, that should be everything. I think we can switch this back on. It shouldn't trigger any more deliveries. Alright, so the last ship over here. Asteroid belt probe data hauler. It's a very nice little ship. 284 hull stress. Those should be set requests. And let's see. Destination says Hagen Orbit. There's no circuitry to change the destination. We launch. Still says Hagen Orbit over here. It's not landing. We find the ship again. Uh, asteroid belt, right? It's located at Hagen, I think. Uh, Hagen orbit. Anchor to Hagen orbit. Is it just because it hasn't flown anywhere once that it won't automatically anchor until we do it just one time? That might be it. Yeah. One, two... Oh, I forgot to change. It's not much of a change. Uh, we just need to get rid of this one combinator that's no longer needed. We're not checking for Ion Stream anymore. Now, why is the timer not starting? It knows that there's 20 of each of these in the ship. It knows there's plenty of fuel. Bots have not stopped moving. Why not? Because... There's no room in these requesters. That's it. That should be the countdown. Nope. You're looking for five green. One, two, three, four, five. If green equals 5, input signals green 5, output spaceship... Oh, I forgot to put this back. 
There we go. All right, we're going to change this down to like 2,000 so that the bots won't end up hovering, holding on to asteroid belt probe data. Are you able to launch? Yeah, there you go. Uh, this one as well. And this one as well. Cool. Now let's check on some of our ships. Is that already on the way back? Interstellar Void Probe Data Hauler. Kind of hard to click on it because there's two of them moving at almost the same speed. There we go. Uh, yeah, there it is. Exactly 20k interstellar void probe data on the way back. And we should have ammo here. Good, good, good. Uh, as for the asteroid field, asteroid belt rather, we're going to be there momentarily. Didn't we need to bring more ammo? We do need to bring more ammo. Why didn't we bring more ammo? Because I think we're supposed to have a green wire just like this to set the requests. That actually makes me all the more confused. as to how that wasn't set correctly to begin with. Is SE limited to the solar system, or is there something in other solar systems? Uh, lots of solar systems. All of these are solar systems. All of these stars. There's like 40? 30? There's, there's, a, there's quite a few stars. Uh, maybe I should go deliver some ammo manually in that case. And there go our rockets. And there goes meteors that we never fixed. Nasty. Once the 10,000 data cards have been moved, this thing will head back home. Okay, uh, why don't we go to the construction ship? Because I'm pretty sure this is set up properly now. Probably. Ammo, bots, bots? Ammo, butts, and ice. Do we have a thing set up to request bots in case they crash or something? We did. And we have an automatic... Wow, that's more bots than we need. Uh, but yeah, we have an automatic bot... Logibot count control here. Why is there 63 of them then? Not sure how that happened. Maybe I should go visit. Asteroid Belt has exactly 50 Logibots like it's supposed to. They haven't ever been supplied though. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's head back. Into the train we go. Oh, this is an old train. I was wondering why it was parked all the way up here. 
I should remember these are here next time I need to add some LTN trains or something. Alright, back to the mall we go. I was afraid I'd killed the whole schedule for this train. We'll jump into the construction ship and pay these spots a visit. Make sure everything's fixed up. I guess I could remotely fix this. Uh, if bots are bigger than 50, take out bots. Not sure why we have construction bots here. Especially since we're not even bringing repair packs. Okay. And less than 50. We're at 54, god damn it. No? Wait, what? Logistic 50. What total logistic parts? Okay, there we go. Uh, so that should be less than. Cool, now they won't crash. Didn't need to visit this plot, uh, this one. Ooh, it's prod module time. Gimme, gimme. That is where we're putting them, yes. And back into the construction ship. First of all, belt two, Calidus asteroid belt two. I think I forgot to, no, I didn't clear out the storage chests on this because I did it before the ship got home. Hey, we already have another 500 Argos via collectors. Maybe we should go get some more. Why not? Last place we went was Poltergeist. We've been to Dark Flare. Let's go to Asteroidia. Just double check, but I'm sure we haven't been there yet. No A's. Asteroid Field 1134. Via Foenestra, of course. Otherwise, it would be a very, very long trip. Um, I didn't quadruple check, but I'm pretty sure we've got 500 probe, uh, probe rockets and 500 Arcosphere collectors. Yes. Yeah, nothing here is missing requests, except for the Arcospheres themselves. Cool, cool, cool. Research unlocks them. Oh, can't see them in your game. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you need to... You need to launch some stuff, and then you need to do some research to find different zones. It's been so long since I had to do that. Wasn't really thinking about it. Might end up with leaving some bots behind here. Do we really need to request 2.4 thousand of these? I don't think so. We should never have any bots crash here or get abducted or anything. Okay. I notice we've still got solar panel 2s here. Could replace them with 3s and drastically reduce the area that we need 
of the solar panels. It's not that big of a deal, though. We don't need that much power here. Uh, let's just tidy up the bot situation. Why are there so many construction bots? That's a lot of lodgy bots. <laughs> don't need that many either. All right. I guess I could leave a few construction bots. Could... How... Okay. I can't tell how many are here because they're all taking their sweet time jumping back into the RoboPort. Probably not like 50, right? No. Okay, that's fine. That'll correct itself after we leave. Let's go to... There's no actual reason to go to Haunted Hallows right now, right? Pretty sure everything's running smoothly over here. In which case, let's go to Calidus Orbit. And... Boop. Straight back up to exactly 50 Logibots. Nice. Okay. SE is forcing me to improve my skills with Combinators. Yep, it'll do that. Before this, I didn't even know what each one was for, and to think that we will have new combi soon. Indeed. And the ones that we do have are going to be a lot... we're going to be able to pack a lot more function... functionality into fewer combinators, I think. Alright, let's check on Bellerophon. It's getting there. But the further out we go, the longer it takes to scan one more layer of uh, cells, chunks, around the middle. I don't think we've got anything to fear from the biters. They may never even try to attack, because we've got pollution turned off. Not that uh, we didn't already clear the biters out to such an extent that the pollution might not reach them. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate that we need to wait for the entire planet to be scanned before we can toss out our anti virus capsules and have them actually finish the job. What are we going to do in the meantime? Let's see how fast Vitamelange is. The real test is right here. Uh, Vitalic Reagent and Epoxy. Epoxy's looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's hard prioritized though. Yeah, there's no... There's no Reagent right now. Currently we've got three of the four half blocks consuming extract. That's looking pretty good actually. Because this should be pretty well overbuilt. Let's look at reagent production. Last hour... it's pretty pretty consistent. 3.6k per minute. Uh, it's definitely more consistent than it used to be. On the 10 hour graph we can see it trending upward. And on the 50 hour graph it's really obvious. I don't know if it's actually going to be necessary to keep all of this running indefinitely. Actually, I seem to remember... Well, we'll see. In any case, we're pretty much just waiting for more prod nines so that we can max module 
all of these blocks. Come to think of it, we've got a lot of speed and efficiency modules, right? 97, and those only go in the... Uh, 97 and like 209 efficiencies. Uh, we need like 13 speed modules for each beacon 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24. Some of them are already done. 24 times 13. We'd need 312 speed modules. Minus the ones that we've already done to speed up all of these blocks. It might actually... I think it actually is at the point where all of our pulverizers that make nuggets are working 24-7. Let's see. Vitamelange Nugget. Last hour is looking super consistent. Yeah. As much as prod modules will help, I think what we really need... Oh, that that is more speed modules than we need there. So this one's done. More than done. This one, no. This one's done. That's two. Um, this one's also more than done. Three. Four. Four and a half. Okay, so rounding down... Four and a half out of our twelve blocks already have as much speed module as they're ever going to need. Uh, in that case... Um, 13 times 2 times 12. 312. Minus like four and a half. So 7.5. We need about 195, probably less. Definitely a, a little bit less. Let's just call it 200 speed modules. We've got 100 and... We've got 97. We're halfway there. All right, anchor to Calidus. And let's fix this mess. I guess I could... Uh, I guess I could go ahead and trim this down and replace it with uh, Naquium solar panels. We've only got 960. I'm pretty sure we're a lot less dependent on the energy generated from here at this point as well. But if we want to, we really could cut this down to half size. Uh, that's going to take a long time, though. We need like 7,000 solar panels. You have a wart in the middle of your block, a cliff, indeed, indeed. Takes longer to repair than I thought it would. How many hit points do these have? 500. Hello, hello. Dilka, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's just go fix the solar panels that have been damaged. Kind of gives you a sense of scale to run across this place. Yep. That's fine too, I guess. 
Alright, did we... F no, not even close. There's actually been a lot of hits here. I think there was a period where we weren't bringing ammo for the media defenses. It'd be nice if we could get some late game energy based ones. Even if they were ridiculously expensive. Actually, if the energy based media defenses were 100% reliable, I think almost no matter how expensive they were energy wise, or for the initial build, I think that'd be a cool late game improvement. Fifty-five, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, I'm lost. Where is... Where, where am I standing? I'm, I'm having trouble finding... There it is. Okay, I think that's all the repairs. We could head out to Bellerophon, but there's not that much point until it's fully explored. I guess let's go back to Hagen Orbit. Even if we were headed somewhere else, we may as well park there for the moment. And I wanted to... We've got a lot of erudite that's not getting utilized. And we've actually got a shortage of ingots. Not making powder fast enough. Not making crushed fast enough. That doesn't make sense. There's too much sand? I, rem I, I, I limited these so that they wouldn't be super imbalanced earlier. The sand was not coming through that quickly. 51 per second for the whole block. That's a quarter of a stack. I don't understand... Wait, no... The provide stack threshold here is 110. That was why. Oh no. Why was it 110? That's why our iridium has stopped. Well, regardless, I want to maybe redesign it anyway. We were looking at getting rid of the swap chests and using belts. That might be a bit more UPS friendly. The squirrels changed to 110? Squirrel around here. Captain True, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again today. Um, I want to jump into the editor, but if we anchor... If we anchor while we're in the editor, very bad things happen. But it's like almost three minutes real time till we get back. The ship still runs if I turn this off, right? Target speed unlimited. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. That's right, we were trying to somehow squeeze in the belts to do the same thing over here as we did before. Uh, and we do still want train... Well, I was going to say, we do still want train output for the erudite, if nothing else, so that it can be dumped into 
uh, to turn into matter as lowest priority. But if we actually get rid of all of the spaceships carrying core fragments, there's no specific need to get rid of excess at all. But on the other hand, we're going to want matter anyway. So I guess it's a moot point. Alright. We've got four tiles between these ones, four tiles between these ones, four tiles between these ones. It's going to be hardest where the beacons are. We want... I guess, technically... For the erudite input, we could use one belt with inserters. I'm trying to get away from inserters, but it might be very difficult to fit this. Um, but yeah, we want an input. We want... Well, it, we recycle the erudite, right? We should do the same thing as we did with... Enriched Vulcanite. If we can fit it somehow. It's going to be very hard to fit in here. Because what we're thinking of doing is... Like, if the input was coming from the north... Filtered Iridite output... Iridite input. Uh, input priority. The recycled stuff. But that takes three tiles. Minimum. Well, maybe not minimum. Maybe there's a way. If we were to stretch this out a little bit. And put this here, and use undergrounds. That takes a lot of vertical space, but that contraption would in fact be an input belt with a recycle belt built in. So then we just need crushed iridite output and sand output. Um, if the underground belt, we move this back a bit. But what if we, what if we do them in pairs? So that output would come from here. Then we'd only be using a half belt. There's definitely no room for a splitter to sort that out, right? So this output would be iridite, and this would be everything but iridite. Crushed iridite and sand. I don't think we're going to find room for a dedicated sand output. Actually, do we need it? Kinda? Each double column is slightly more than one purple belt for output. Beacon doesn't even offer any space to spare here. I think we just have to give up on having quite so much in one block. Do you want the recycle to have the priority set on the input and output? Um, no, it doesn't really matter the output priority. I don't think. 
This part's going to get saturated in any case. Yeah, I don't think we can do it in as compact a spot as we did with the swap chests. And there's definitely no stretching this vertically. No, not really. Also, also, come to think of it, there is one output belt between the two columns. So that would be belt bottlenecked if this was all tier 9. So we do need to change, uh, we do need to update the layout in some way in any case. I'm thinking we probably just do a little bit less in one block. It's going to be really fast anyway. So instead of 24 machines, it's probably 18 machines per half block. That would be 106 crushed iridite out. More than a belt of iridite in. As opposed to... 77 out, and 100 in. Yeah. That's fine. P probably. Uh, the mods thing needs a fix. One sec, sorry. Dayscraft, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, you can also scroll down for the mods. But let me just fix the command. Uh, Factorio mods. Oh, and that's just... Uh, the mods is an actual... It is an alias, actually. So if you type Factorio mods, it's always going to give you the Factorio mods. Mods. Add alias. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so if we get rid of one column on each side, I imagine it's still going to be a bit difficult to fit all this, but probably not too bad. Yeah, we can, we can put this almost anywhere. Let's say two tiles, two tiles, two tiles, and that has three tiles on each side. Should probably be able to manage. All right, I want the inputs to look like this. It's kind of neat. Then again, since we've got more horizontal space, maybe we don't need to do it like that. It's awkward having three of these. Okay, so between any two columns, we need slightly more than one purple belt for output, right? Let's just do one belt for each of them. Well, maybe we do need to be a little bit compact horizontally here. Um, output like so. Kind of need to run it into a splitter. Which means like this. And 
gonna be in the way of the beacon though, right? No, it's gonna be on the other side. That might not look too bad. Can only go down one tile on either end. Maybe we'll do just that. Oops. And then the beacon could fit wherever over here, which means these could be a bit cozier. I kind of like that. Let's double check that it actually works. You know what, I kind of want to flip this one around. No, I don't. That would actually impose on the other side of the map, uh, block. I still like it better. Could bring these all a little closer together, I suppose. That'd be more consistent with the other side. Alright, so we want to copy-paste flip this, but pulverizers don't like to be flipped. Uh, how far apart is... One tile away from the outside. Cool. That looks reasonable. And just double check. It's barely more than one belt of iridite input on each side. I guess we could do the old delivery cannon chest trick. That doesn't line up quite so well. We're probably going to direct belt all this stuff anyway, but I want to have options. Hmm. I want to make sure we consume from both of these equally. But also... I guess I could just do one more splitter and two more loaders. That actually looks weird. I guess that's fine. I can live with that. Alright. So, we have... Infinite Iridite coming in. And... 
and it'll always prioritize the iridite that's been recycled from the same machine. Even after... Even after we can completely saturate the iridite input, it should be reliable. Let's just delete all the output for the moment. Filter on loaders? You mean these ones? Oh, right. This is crushed and sand. Each column gives us like 46, 47 per second. Now we're going to have to very Carefully make sure we update all of those filters. That should be it. Cool. So how much can one block do here? 213 crushed iridite per second. And how much sand? 71 per second. That's nothing to scoff at. Alright. Probably do the same two train stops we had before. But we're going to want to direct belt the crushed. And have the train stop as a backup only. Where are my signals? Why does that take so long? Yeah, that's what we've been doing over here. Not sure what happened to these direct belts, though. And I want to maybe completely rethink these blocks. So we have the Iridium powder, which then gets delivered to Iridium blast cake, which only needs enriched vulcanite added to it. So maybe we could combine these into one block. And the blast cake is relatively slow. Stack size is pretty small, I didn't realize. Um, it's only 20. So that's eight, eight and a half stacks per second with the current modules. Hmm. We need blast cake and pyroflux for the actual ingots. I really do want to cut down train, uh, cut down on train trips and make it more modular. make it so we can just copy paste instead of having to know having to look at our ratios from one block to the next is there a universe where we should cut out a lot of this in the one block maybe i kind of like this design it's a bit of a shame okay how many steps are we trying to make before we get to Iridium Blast Cake. Uh, it's... Iridite becomes crushed. Crushed becomes powder. Which has an awful lot of recycling involved. Actually, it's only beads and crushed go back into the exact same machines. And sometimes it comes out as powder. And we have to spit out Dirty Iridium water, which also brings back the two things that we're recycling, and also stone. Yara yara. He's still making tier 9 modules, always. 
I put a pause on efficiency modules because we've got way more efficiency modules than we need compared to the other ones. Um, but yeah, we are making modules, indeed. Last hour, 13 prod nines. Last 10 hours, 0.4 per minute prod nines, 0.2 per minute uh, speed nines, and 0.1 per minute efficiency nines because I cut them off. Not sure what happened to speed modules in the last little while. Oh, it's probably the shortage of iridite at this point. Yeah, it takes a lot of heavy assemblies, which are very iridite expensive, and heavy composite, to make speed modules. How fast have we been making the heavy composite? I wonder. I imagine it's dropped off lately a little bit, relatively. Last hour, 216 per minute. Last 10 hours, 247 per minute. That's not that severe. Seeing this map really puts into perspective how far away I am from finishing SE. We f technically finished ages ago. Um, I set an arbitrary science per second goal which turned out to be a lot more ambitious than I thought that's why that's why we're here I might yet stick to the same design I don't think we need to change iridium ingots <sighs> maybe we should direct belt the blast cake though Because iridium ingots are really slow to make. And it takes a surprising amount of uh, assembly machine power to convert them to plate at a respectable rate. So maybe we keep this as it is and just direct belt the blast cake in. I do want to maybe come up with something a bit more... monolithic like our other builds. Okay, so it's pulverizers into chemical plants with these filtration plants next to them, and then into uh, centrifuges, and then into furnaces. powder and then of course we need some assembly machines at the end Solovix, welcome in hope you're doing well good to see you again I will keep this off to the side just in case I decide to use it maybe it'll be relevant to another build as well I kind of like this It's very clear to look at it to see what's happening. Okay. If we were to do all of this in one block... Uh, we would need... Two fluid input. Uh, this fluid gets recycled. Kind of. Filtration plant. Dirty. 
Where is it? Filter dirty water. Wait, is it not a filtration plant? It is a filtration plant. Filtered dirty water. Oh, it's regular dirty water? Dirty iridium water. Filtered dirty water recipe. Okay. Let's just copy paste this. Stevenge. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and that outputs water. We could always delete the water, or we could export it. I'm, I'm sure we're doing both. Both or either. Yeah, we've got train pickup for water, and we vent it if there's too much. So then we also need flare stacks. Alright, so we have one solid, two, three solids coming in, four solids coming in. Wait, no. One, two, three solids coming in. Two solids going out. Sand and... Uh, sand and stone. We could convert all the stone to sand. Just to have one output for that. Um, but yeah. If we're going to convert it to stand, sand, we'd need, like, another pulverizer, right? Left click. Yeah, we can't do it with, like, an assembly machine or something. It's either a crusher or a pulverizer. Or a mechanical facility. That means yet another... Yet another machine. Either another machine or another train pickup. So, one... We could combine the train drop-offs, potentially, depending on how fast it is. We obviously want to direct belt the uh, Iridite in, since the stack size is so small. But what kind of speed are we consuming red beads, for example? A hundred and twenty per second. That's with prod sixes. Although it wouldn't be the whole block if we're going to put them all together. Hmm. I'm more and more seeing why I built it this way to begin with. But I really want it in a nice little ratio appropriate package. Like we've got with Vitamelange, for example. It doesn't have to be that fast for each block. Alright, let's just get rid of this for the moment. We'll design it north to south. Since I'm more used to that. Rain coming in. I don't think you guys can hear it though. Alright, let's say... This is where we input our Iridite. Okay. 
time we're going to bring it in by train, because we might have trains pick up some of the slack. It's awkward to belt everything. How fast is this? Consumes only 26 per second. We could also belt from one machine to the other uh, for the recycled iridite if we want to. After that, we need the chemical plant. This is going to end up looking like Holmanite at this rate. It's going to look a lot like Holmanite at this rate, now that I think about it. Crushed. Uh, beads and fluid input and spits out Holmium. Uh, it spits out dirty water. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe... Okay, maybe we even end up with a very, very, very similar layout for this. I'd be happy with that. Let's see how it looks. We're not gonna break anything here. But we're gonna need some spaceship floor. Actually, no, we're not. The right side's going to be a bit different because we don't need any thermo facilities for the ingots. So step one is iridite becomes crushed iridite. It's going to spit out sand. I think we already have... Yeah, we've got a stone filtered output here. That's going to become sand. Oh, the problem... Yeah, these... Uh, I see the... I see the main difference. Maybe we can squeeze in one more pulverizer somewhere to s turn stone into sand after all. Or maybe we won't need as much space here and we can have another output station for stone as opposed to sand. Okay, in any case, that's going to be powder... Uh, that probably can't have rod modules. And we probably don't need four of these filtration plants, it's just really neat. And these would be... Blast cake? Probably going to need more than three of these this time, and we don't need any, uh... Any copper coming in. Which means this doesn't have to be a drop-off station at all. Which means it could be a pickup for stone... ...and water? Okay. I like where this is potentially going. Uh, what's this? Oh, both of those were stone, yeah. So this would go, like, here. Maybe. This would be sand. How fast do we output sand from just four of these? Not very fast at all. Cool, cool, cool. And this is... Well, it's not filtered. Let's forget the direct belts for the moment. Although they'll probably end up being in the exact same place. Maybe I should leave them there. I'll actually just... Put our cheat inputs over here. For... Iridite. We're not asking for more than one solid over here. No. Okay. 
This needs two fluids for input. That might be a problem, but it looks like we can get away with it pretty easily. As a matter of fact. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, that's a problem. Alchemist, welcome in if I didn't say so. Uh, I guess, yeah, we could probably just change the fluid drop-offs here. I'm pretty sure the fluid input we need is relatively slow. Compared to some of these other ones. Like, our Holmium blocks. Two twenty hydrogen chloride per second. And nothing else. I'm pretty sure the Holmium's slower, actually. Although we're comparing it to a big block with one purpose here. So that's 662. I think it's probably going to work out. Um, now these are going to be iridium ingots. They probably won't be spaced like this though. Because we're not outputting fluid into thermo facilities that are standing in for casters. We will have to do something about the steam. But in any case, this layout is going to change quite a bit. Which will probably give us a lot more room to do something else on this side. What kind of ratio do these have? Negative iridite. Well, that's to be expected. Um, you want crushed... You're wanting 22 crushed per second, and each of these gives only six. Okay, we're definitely modifying this layout a bit, a bit more. Six fours are 24. So four of these to one. Hmm. That makes me want to fit more of these pulverizers. And we're probably going to need a lot more centrifuges. I think they're pretty slow. For this recipe. Also, what kind of ratio is it from the advanced chem plants to the filtrations this time? Uh, dirty iridium water is still positive here. But we haven't put any modules in these. So just like one speed six is probably more than enough. Nope. Wait, what? Dirty Iridium Water? Dirty Iridium Water? 111.8 positive. Huh. 94 positive. 7, 80 positive. Okay, we definitely need two of these to one of these. So that is, even with no speed modules, two of these is net negative for the iridium water, which is what we want. Got to gobble, gobble, gobble up all of that byproduct. Okay. So four of these to one of these to two of these. And then it's iridium powder that we're looking for to go into the centrifuges. Enriched vulcanite is going to be shipped in by train. Each of these consumes 6.5 per second. One of these gives us 40. 39.6. This is exactly 39. Six machines. Okay. 
So that's our ratio, 4 to 1 to 2 to 6, or rather 4 to 1 to 6, and 2 to handle the waste. I don't know if we're going to be needing... Well, we might yet use the storehouses to swap these beads back and forth. And the crushed erudite takes it as an input and an output, and this one as an output only. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same pattern as holmium. Input and output, output, okay. So it's just changing the filters for these. And this wants beads, and this wants beads. Since there's only one machine, maybe we could simplify it a bit. In any case... I think it's going to be rather difficult... to fit 8 to 2 to 4 to 12. Where would we put 8 of these for starters? Let's move this down. If this is 1 to 2, we could put these on either side. Right down the middle here. Let's get rid of this for now. Same thing over here. I was thinking this spits out 50% of what it takes in for crushed iridite. This spits out not very much crushed iridite. 100 dirty iridium water to spit out. Well, it's 1,000 dirty iridium water to spit out one crushed iridite from here. With no prod bonus. So I'm pretty sure even if we just have loaders, like this has room for eight crushed iridite, which is more than enough storage, I think, for the output from this. Um, but this would need to feed itself crushed iridite as well. We could do it like this. Or we could have a priority splitter for the input in the first place. Probably should do that. Uh, something like... Like that. With input priority left. We're going to need two fluids dropped off up here. Oh, we are dropping off a fluid here. That would be the pyroflux normally. How fast... Well, I just realized I'm already not trying to fit two of these. It seems like a tall order. What if we get the slightly worse the fluid drop-off speed. Oh. We can probably find a way around that. 
uh, fluid tanks. No, that doesn't have room for these undergrounds here. Wait, the Erudite doesn't have to be anywhere near as fast as these four belts, right? It's only 17 per second going into four. I think Holmanite is a lot faster. Ninety-seven per second. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. Just a tad. So it doesn't have to be like direct belted in like this. Hmm. There's more going on with this swappy swap though. Let's just forget this for the moment. We're trying to do eight of these. Is that even realistic? Maybe the other fluid drop-off should be up here. Whatever the slowest fluid is can be dropped off here. It's probably Pyreflux. I was thinking perhaps sand could just go straight this way. Get rid of this mess. I guess since sand is so slow, we could do inserters to output the sand. Be gone. Alright, so all of this for Iridite is only 52 per second. Just run it through one belt. a little more awkward than I was expecting. Move this down a bit. What if... Now oh, that's going to be in the way. Input priority right. I don't want to do it like this. And down here like this perhaps. That would have nothing being output on that side. Surely we can find a way to get our little splitter in here. We might want fluid pumps on this side though. No, we're going to do three fluids here, right? One, two, three, yeah. Maybe. Oh, I could do the uh, belt on this side and the big tank on this side. Then I'd have to move these back a bit. Also, where the heck is the crushed iridite coming out? How much is this? 47 plus 15, that's way less than a purple belt. Uh, but 
we'd need to... Split it away somewhere here first. I was thinking of doing the crushed output up here somewhere. It's not really going to work. I don't mind this. Um, beacon easily reaches all of that. You're wanting crushed. Nothing else. Oh, we should be able to squeeze out the crushed easily, actually. How much is it? 47, slightly more than half a belt. Forgot to filter this. Okay. That looks good. Underground can bring this down here. Actually, I think I like this a little bit better. So if we do sand output like so, that just leaves the crushed output. Don't exactly have room to filter it off there. I could send this over this way. We're getting less than a belt of sand plus uh, sand plus crushed. We get rushed down here. I don't love that that's on the other side of the block, but I guess it's fine. Uh, and sand is going to go back this way. That looks a little weird. Kind of like that a little bit better. It's kind of in the way. How far up can we move this? Wait, we need two of these, don't we? Well, hopefully we can move it up a bit more. Hmm. Hmm. We're still trying to fit the centrifuge under the same beacon. Might get a bit dicey. Let me get this straight. That's where that goes. We're getting 47.5 crushed iridite per second. This wants... Uh, 22. Yeah, we need another one of these. Which means we need... Well, okay, hold on. If we do fully sped up filtration plants, how many do we need to support two of these? 
316.30 iridium water per second. This can do 273. Okay. Could probably get away with sixes. 445. No, it's going to be um, 633, right? So three of these, if it's tier six modules. And also three of them, if it's tier, tier nine. They may as well be tier six. Uh, we can maybe forget about this strict layout. How about... Oh. Wait. No. Good morning, Undead Hunter. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oops. Kind of want one of these in the middle. This stuff's going to have to move. I don't think we can fit what we're trying to fit here. Maybe. How many uh, centrifuges are we trying to get? 12, right? If there's going to be two of these. 80 iridium powder per second. Uh, what? 2.4? It's not under the beacon. Yeah, we need like 12 of these. We can probably have more speed mod. We're probably just going to put another beacon down here somewhere. Which is also going to have its own problem. Or perhaps, no, because there's only two prod modules in these things. We could probably fit another speed module under, uh, 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 on a beacon for these things. And still get minus 80% power, which means we might need fewer machines. That's plus 200. That is so rude. That's only one more speed module. Okay. So we're trying to use 12 of these. But don't we want a different number of speed modules on the right over here? We could pay 4 megawatt for advanced furnace for it to go a bit faster. It's only going from crafting speed 36 to 40 though. 10% difference. And depending on the ratio, that might not really help. Hmm. But if we do have the same beacon layout, maybe we could squeeze these over here instead. Or, I could even shift the beacon a little bit to the right, and like, fit 12 of these over here. Potentially. It's gonna be a bit cozy. This is six already. Just barely. Huh. Is this what we want to do? Let's move this. Maybe. 
Only four enriched Vulcanite per second. Almost of uh, most of a belt of purple, uh, purple belt of iridium powder. Very little iridium blast cake coming out. And right here we get seventy nine. It's gonna be an awfully tight fit. Maybe we can move the beacon over more to the right, especially now that we've got more room to the south. Theoretically, we could put it here. Or even, like, here. But we probably want to put it further down anyway. If the beacon's not going to be sitting there, I kind of want to be able to visualize this stuff a little bit easier. Okay. So this is all ratioed up. We are getting rid of all of the dirty iridium water. We want 43.3 crushed iridite per second. Well, that's probably not quite right, because... Eh, maybe. We're getting 47. That's good. It's very good. How much does this produce? Just over 20 iridium blast cake per second. So if this do actually does have more efficiency so that we're not paying 4 megawatt for each of these, 7.2 each. We don't need very many. We need three. Just three. We've got way more... Um, room for stuff on the right side of the block than I was realizing that we would. So, for, so four to one. Unfortunately, we're one tile off having these all line up just so. So that we could have, like, direct belt with each of these. In that case, we do have to have these in a line unless they're going to be two columns. They just barely fit under the beacon. There's plenty, plenty more room to the right now. This beacon's going to have to be pretty far to the right. Fine. But it shouldn't be difficult to make room for the inputs for these things. What's this? Beads. I forgot about beads. We'll probably drop those off in the same spot. I'm pretty sure we don't need to import sand with this one. I quite like where this one, uh, where this build is going. We're, g we're gonna need more assembly machines. Actually, I don't know. If we're only gonna have three advanced furnaces per block... How many do we have here? 48? So it would take 16 blocks to get the equivalent of this running 24-7. I don't love that, but we're already using 6 blocks for this, but it's much more of a mess moving things around. Hmm. 
I don't really see that we could squeeze more in, like if we added another four pulverizers somewhere. We had 50% more of everything. I think we're going to run out of space in the block. Where's the middle? Right here. That doesn't look quite right. Wait, this is how many tiles wide? An odd number. Yeah, so that can't be in the middle. I see how it is. I don't love this evacuation of crushed iridite, though. Okay. Keeping the same general layout in mind. Well, if we add more, I don't see how we're squeezing this under the same beacon. Maybe it'll have to be a different beacon. This would be 18. 50% more of this is not a thing. We'd have to have four. I mean, five. That's not a very good ratio. We can't double everything in the same block. That's not happening. No way. Definitely not. Maybe maybe we double this in the one block and then have a bunch of this. So we have two blocks instead of one and instead of three. So here we would import iridium powder enriched and pyroflux. How much is this spitting out? Like 80 per second, though. For a 50 stack. For a 30 stack. Okay, no, I don't like that. Nah, this, this, this'll do. Okay. I really want to improve how we get our rushed out of here. I guess we could just use more space down this way. Maybe that's all we need to do. Alright, if we use the same trick over here. But with crushed iridite... That would still have to go down a tile. Unless we want to move the pylon. Blasphemy. That just barely fits. I think we're going to need more space between these, though. Wait, what if, what if I put this here and just move these apart a little bit more? 
That's probably better. Beacon would go up here. And we've got plenty of room to do a nice Filtered output. Down this way. Move this over. That actually just happens to line up. Lamel. Maybe... No. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe we could fit these down here. Not even close. I don't suppose I could put the... We'd have to put six centrifuges around each of these advanced chemical plants for what I have in mind. I guess the fluid thing could be further away now. So like... Three of these, three of these, three of these, three of these. That's obviously not fitting. Can we make it work though? I think I'd like that layout a lot better. Maybe we could move that train stop. Uh, this is everything but erudite out, right? Crushed and sand. Okay. Can we make it work? We'd have to use inserters if we only want one tile between these. That train stop really would have to move. I could move it up a bit. Potentially. It would mean that this would have to be one train sector. For the two junk outputs. But I'm pretty sure stone's going to be super, super slow. Yeah, two per second. That is really cozy, though. Uh, this only has one output. How are, how are we going to get the enriched vulcanite there? Uh, let's say we move the stone trash station somewhere else, like up here. Oops. Okay, that that's going to make things a bit easier. Uh, the beacon's going to get moved back over this way. And what? Means we could stretch these out a little bit more. Is that even centered? No, it's one off. That doesn't look centered. Because the beacon can't be centered. Okay. Uh, maybe I stretch these out a little bit in each direction so that we can get the get room for the input output for the blast cake. I 
can't move this down a tile, right? No. I, I guess I could move these machines down one tile. That's actually not out of the question. Even though this looks a little bit wonky. I can maybe live with that. Which means this can go down one, which means these can go down one, which might help a little bit. Okay. Well, I suppose we could also do this for the sake of symmetry. Looks a little wonky. Okay. Fluid input might be a bit tricky as well. Hmm. I really want this to work. I, I like this layout right here. Plus 0.6 iridium powder for each of these sets. Alright, let's say we move this apart a little bit. Oh my god. Stop filling my inventory with crap. Okay. This is going to get moved over a bit. So it was two tiles away from that. That just barely works. So we could have input belts, output belts. That might just work. Input. Output. And I guess squeeze this in here. This is no longer in the middle. Let's get some pipes in since the since it's such an obvious fit here. Getting the crushed recycled from this one is a little bit of an issue. We can obviously send crushed straight back up here. Like this. We also want to get stone and beads. It just keeps getting harder. Wait. No, that should be fine. 24 plus 8, 32. Yeah, that's fine. 
Position of the beacon for input that could be over here is surprisingly awkward. Kinda want... input to be like this, which it is, okay. Maybe output could face north. It's pretty slow anyway. And the max rate of blast cake is only 22 per second. So it doesn't matter if we only use half a belt. So we could do it like this. It's actually kind of neat. And our input for enriched vulcanite is going to go here. Kind of like that. Um, I guess we could always just... Wait, wait. We gotta get the stone out as well. I haven't even thought about the beads here properly. Uh, beads are kind of in the same camp as crushed. What if... Nah, there's no way that's okay. The crushed that's here is gonna block the recycled beads. I don't, I don't think that's gonna work out. Um... We could do a little loop for the beads, I guess. Why don't we do bead input down this way? And maybe the same kind of thing for the beads input. Except then it needs to happen for this machine as well. I mean, we could do it down here, there's plenty of space, but I'd like to squeeze it in up this way somehow, if I could. So that would go over there. And then... Maybe we do just bring beads down this way. Or we could just use inserters. Grab the beads from here. Have a little... Did I move these apart two tiles? Not really. Not really. Zethrus, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. You might fit two of the loops at the top, maybe with different undergrounds. Two of the loops at the top. Oh, you mean up here for the beads, for these things? Maybe. We do still need to do the uh, fluid inputs for these. That might turn out to be a bit of a problem. That one lines up very well. Oh, really? Uh, I guess we could work around that. That one almost has to be uh, nitric acid. Like 
this. If that's nitric acid, where are we going to... Get our hydrochloric, or hydrogen chloride, rather. Probably from here. Seems good. This one's gonna be uh, uh, pyroflux. So how fast is this? It's only twelve. Twenty-two iridium blast cake per second, and this can eat. Wait, what? Oh, I killed the beacon. This can eat twenty-one point six. Twenty one point eight four iridium blast cake per second versus twenty one point six. That's fantastic. Maybe line them up like this. We need to deal with the steam. It's only seven point three six per second. Uh, we put a regular steam turbine, right? That actually fits in the middle. Kind of. How about this? Actually, I think I kind of want it on this side. Even though the pyroflux will have to go around. Because we're not doing much else at this angle. How fast do we get the ingots out? Three per second. Wow. Uh, how many machines does it take to turn all of that to plate? Only one. Fantastic. And... Just for the neatness of it, I kind of want to do this with the loaders. Well, hold on. If the pyroflux comes down here... Let's see if we can please Symmetria. Somewhat. We would want... Input, input, input. I don't think I can squeeze it the way I want to. Input? Uh, how about input over here? And that way there's going to be room for... Output. Wouldn't this work as well? Okay. 
Can't do the same thing in the middle. Input, output. Something like that. want to see ingots coming down this way. I guess that'll do. There's all this empty space on the right. I, I almost feel like I've failed here, but... We know we can't double this and pull it off. And if we somehow manage to squeeze in one and a half times this, there'd be some really awkward ratios with the filtration plants and especially the advanced furnaces. Uh, we also need to... It's so little steam that comes out. I think I'll just skip... I think I'll just skip trying to do any smarts to let the steam build up so that we can use it for power. If it makes it through the steam turbine, it can get vented. Because the steam turbine can consume 50 steam per second if we need power. That's one-fifth of that. It's going to be such a relatively small amount of power. I don't care at this point. Okay. So what? Beads and... And what? No, just beads. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just beads that needs to be dropped off on this side. What's this? Also beads. Uh, I haven't done away with the water yet. We probably can... Might need to move this over like one tile. Is that okay? Probably. We probably can fit our stone output station over here like we planned. Although the stone does have to make a bit of a trek to get there. I could put it down here, but I like the relative symmetry. Junk sand, junk stone. Top left, top right. Uh, and we could just put... beads... like this. That seems fine. We need to test it. Alright, so in here we have beads and nothing else. Uh, 
here we have, was it hydrogen chloride? That's the fastest fluid that gets consumed here, right? 176 per second, that's not that fast. But that seems good. Hydrogen chloride. Pyroflux. And nitric acid. They're beginning to work. Uh, and we have to deal with the water output. I think we'll put the water over here. Where, where are my containers? Because sand is pretty slow. Is stone even slower? Two per second, stack size 50. Uh, yeah, yeah it is. Okay. And there's more room over here anyway. In fact, if we move these up a bit. What? Oh. We could probably have a nice, juicy, huge tank. For the water. It does mean we'll need to change this layout slightly. Just like that. I'm going to keep that there for the symmetry. And then water finds its way one tile off, really. Really, really? Okay. Alright. I see how it is. I'm going to put a pump there and pretend that it's there because we need it or want it. One off, indeed. Uh, and I guess we could put a flare stack. Yeah, I mean, we should. Put a flare stack in case this gets really full. If water greater than... Say, 190,000. So that's going to be a... Active pickup for our byproducts. Same thing over here. This one's for sand. Long trains only, I think, make full use of the storage. Uh, and this one is for stone and water. Why is this belt backward? We got some ingots, but things stopped. Iridium blast cake is not getting made because stone is not going anywhere. That's why. Because we haven't done those belts yet. Um, maybe I'll change this a little bit. Oh, we also output the crushed iridite. Oh, the middle one does, doesn't have it yet. I was thinking of running belt this way. But I didn't end up doing it. Okay, one thing at a time. Uh, we're going to do beads, stone and beads. Uh, 
but we'll do it in this direction. And the stone will come out like this. Uh, and then we just have a similar kind of situation with the pipe there. Since we're going to make full use of the storage here, we'll use a splitter. Looks good. Looks fine. All right, I don't, I don't hate this. That's why we stopped. No more iridite. So we still haven't fixed the uh, crushed iridite recycling for this machine in particular. Um, it's kind of tricky. I sort of want to do the crushed like this. Oh, we could. It looks a little silly. It's not too bad. I could maybe live with that. It doesn't spit out any crush very often. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that works. There's a kind of symmetry to it. Uh, we need to, we need to do the input for enriched vulcanite. That's the other thing that goes over here. Can we fit? Um, if we move this over one tile, and do enriched vulcanite, the, the relative rate of consumption of beads is not that fast, right? 32 per second, stack size 200, that's not that fast. If we do the enriched vulcanite here... Set filters blacklist... Wait... Red things and other red things... I don't see where I'm going to make this look super neat. I guess we just do it like this. And... Like so. That's not too bad. Uh, and then minor detail, we need to actually bring, bring them down this way. Okay. Now is there 47.5 crushed and then this wants 44? So that should, these two, these sh these should run almost constantly and then stop based on output a little bit. 
these two should run constantly, but then eventually stop based on output because we've got plenty of iridium powder. The blast cakes should run constantly, but then we get 21.84 blast cake per second and consume 21.6. So eventually, and I do mean eventually, uh, they would back up. Uh, and then we get constant uh, 4.32 iridium ingot per second. And we can consume a little bit faster than that to make the plate so we can use up our backlog of iridium ingots. Looks like we might be able to keep the standard layout for... for direct belting in from the south. Might need to change this a little bit. This would go here. And this would... What's a better layout for this? And why doesn't this side train? Alright, this would go here. We could just do an underground like that. I feel like, since we moved this down a bit, we should be able to make it look a little better, but since we're coming from this corner, it doesn't really work out like that. I kind of like this better though, I think. Okay. That looks like a pretty good block. Iridium plate provider. How fast can this make plate? 49 per second. It's a bit more than one stack. Hmm. The amount that would fit on the belt if this was backed up is actually significant on top of these 40 stacks. I think that's probably fine. Especially because we're going to have a bunch of this in parallel. These two feel too close to get... oh. Huh. I didn't realize the flare stacks weren't actually underneath the beacon. Is that a problem? It's not for the steam. How much water are we making? Five... 534 per second. Okay. Um... Hmm. Hummity, hummity, hum. Maybe I should spin the advanced furnaces around. This could be on this side. It'd be kind of weird putting this down here regardless. I don't really want to be looking at the steam turbine where the final product's coming out though. If we could somehow put it here, that would work. Uh, if if I move, if I move the assembly machine that converts the plate all the way back up here. I don't really mind that. I 
do want big storage before the advanced assembly machine. I don't really mind if this belt is kind of long. Maybe we don't need to see the ingots going back up here, though. Now oh, that looks weird. Okay, that works. That does, in fact, work. So that's everything, right? All the way from Iridite to Iridium Plate in one block. If everything's running constantly, our inputs from the train station, uh, from the train stops need to be... We export 184 water per second. Wait. Oh. Hold on. Hold please. Uh, that is still positive 149 water per second if we don't take it away with the trains. Okay, fine. We'll add a few more of these. How many do we need? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It wasn't, uh... It wasn't registering that this would get rid of water. Okay, that is... no, that is still plus 149 water. So I guess it was. Um, can I put this here? I can. It looks a little weird. That is negative on water. Okay. What if this was a speed 9? I don't think it's going to be fast enough. I don't want to spend a speed 9 on this anyway. Yeah, that's still positive. Okay. So I guess we'll put a couple of these like so. That looks weird somehow. How about this? I don't hate that. Alright, so that should be negative for water. Oh. And then we can put the rules back. Forty-nine plate per second is not actually going to happen. It's going to be more like... Forty-seven plate per second? Wait, no. More like 40, 30 to f thirty-five to forty plate per second. If the entire block is just making plate. We're positive on crushed. We're positive on Iridium Powder, we're positive on Iridium Blast Cake, by the narrowest of margins. I like it a lot. Uh, Enriched Vulcanite is very slow compared to its stack size. Pyroflux, as always, is very slow. Uh, hydrogen Chloride really isn't very fast either. Neither is Nitric Acid, so I don't really care that we don't have the super fast fluid drop-off up here. Um, we're probably going to direct belt in the iridite, but that actually is only 52 per second. So it's like, f well, that's still like more than five stacks per second that this block can do. Consume. Yeah, I, I like this block a lot. Uh, if we're doing the... If we're doing the direct belt from the north at the usual place, that might pose a bit of a problem. Not sure where that's going to squeeze in. Really not sure where that's going to squeeze in. We could obviously merge it straight into here. Oh 
Reaper's pumps are a problem. All these belts. This one could just squeeze in this way, but this one... I guess this one squeezes in here, and then this one undergrounds to over here, maybe. I guess. Then we'd end up with an empty container and a full container. I don't love that. That's all kind of all kinds of spaghetti, but it's doable. And then this one wouldn't be too hard. All right, there is a solution to it in any case. Hi, I'm new to the game. Can I ask something about reactors? Absolutely. I won't bite. Rhydium ingot provider. Uh, this station we already named and set up. Well, the only downside of this is there's only three advanced furnaces compared to 48 here. Oh, it's saturated again. When did this happen? That was a turnaround. What was it? 48 over 3. We would need 16 blocks to do what we're currently doing with... Well, I don't know it's what we're currently doing with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because if all of this was tier 9 moduled, I think we'd have bigger problems. Um, so yeah. Do I need fluid storage tanks as well to store the steam? Uh, depends on how you want to do it. Um, I do like to have... Not not in this case. Uh, I don't have steam storage. But there is actually a really, really pretty big buffer of steam in the inputs for these things. Uh, but for ye old nuclear plants, which I'm pretty sure we don't have anymore. Because I got rid of them. Um, where's our K2 nuclear? Here we go. Because I don't want to waste nuclear fuel, uh, what we do is fill up some steam tanks. It actually comes after the um, steam turbines get a chance to consume the steam. But if we're not running at full capacity, uh, the steam gets stored. And we've got some accumulators as well. And basically, we don't put in new uranium fuel cells until steam drops below some level. And that way we can get continuous power without uh, dumping uranium fuel cells in when they're not needed. But you definitely don't strictly need them. Ooh, mining productivity 19 is already at 40%. Stopped. Thank you for the follow. Five, five, high? This fishy? Fishy. Fishy. Thank you for the follow. Call me fishy indeed. All right, uh, what time is it? It's already 9.30. Um, I think it's high time I took a little break. I can't believe I just spent all that time refactoring Iridium just to suddenly find that it's saturated. That's weird. Rare metals have become the bottleneck for heavy composite. I did not see that coming. That's probably why we've got so much iridite right now. Uh, iridium. Red metals. The stuff that we can't delete fast enough and we are deleting it right now. Okay. Here I was thinking 
we might eventually one day have to go to a rare metal core frag planet. But I, I have my doubts. Regular core frags, which we get from every other core frag, spit out too much, too damn much rare metal. Um, wait, why is this broken? Mucky! Cyclomatic, welcome in. Mactic. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, Mucky. How's your stream? S.O. There we go. More trains. We have a lot of trains. We added like 10 more yesterday, if not 20. Actually, how many trains do you think we have on this service? Not counting the two, I think, we have that are not space locomotives. Uh, every pair of these is one, one train. I'm not sure how many this is, but that's how many trains we have on Hagen right now. 219.45? 74. I think... I think we're above 74. Wait, no, that's locomotives. Uh... I, I'm not sure, to be honest. Well, if you want to screen, ca screen cap that and count it, by all means. Uh, anyway, rare metal's not working. Why? No enriched rare metals. Why is dirty water... Uh-oh. Dirty water is not getting processed. I could just delete it for a short-term fix. Here we go. What seems to be the... Bruh. There's too much... St wait, 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 wait. What? 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 Nunny? What are we not outputting? Mineral water. There's too much mineral water. We're not taking this away for some reason. It can go to a couple of places to get deleted. Uh, the drop-off is negative 100 percent, negative 100 priority, request priority. But the provider is. Uh, wait. It was mineral water over here. Yeah, provide priority 100. Do we not have enough fluid wagons? We did make sure that we've got plenty of... No? Okay, if, if you're up to five seconds, we've definitely got enough fluid locomotives. Um, what is going on? Mic locked, indeed. The kid is a teen, welcome in. Uh, okay, for the moment, I'm going to delete this dirty water so we can get rare metals again. Might be worth speeding this up, but it seems like some train is trying to get here to pick up this stone, and I don't think it can get here. Yeah, because there's so many trains trying to drop off the regular core frags that aren't getting consumed because we've got too much mineral water because I don't know why we're not picking it up to go get it turned into matter. Provide threshold 100k. There's definitely a lot mo- What? 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 Are you serious? Bruh. If that's the case... Why hasn't that happened at other... Uh, 
Somehow we broke the wiring at that one vanilla core frag processing block at some point. Let's check all of them. That looks good. Uh, that looks good. I don't know how many more of these I have. I could do a factory search. Do we have a... yeah. There's one vanilla core frag processing block up here. I think that's probably all of them. Okay, so there goes the mineral water. The ironic thing is as well, uh, if I just set the provide threshold just a little bit lower, just these two tanks would have reported enough to trigger a delivery. I think it looks like this. Should you vent some of the dirty water? I did. I deleted about 250,000 of it. Just to get the rare metals moving again straight away. Well, that should sort itself out relatively soon. This is awfully imbalanced, though. How did it get this imbalanced? Must have something to do with... I, I actually don't know. I'm actually not sure why this got so completely imbalanced. I guess I could just go over there and rebalance it. Teleport. Teleport. Spuda. And it was this one, right? Oh, it's right over there. Okay, well, now I wonder how long the uh, iridium is going to last. Once we get making heavy composite again. That's probably why our speed module stopped. Okay. Four frags. Be balanced. Might rebalance it again once the belt saturates. That was quick. Alright, that looks good. Factory is alive again. Or at least all parts of it. We think. Where's this mineral water going, anyway? Oh, I forgot to name this station. It is a mineral water drop-off and pickup. The pickup just being... If, if we don't delete it, it can go somewhere else. It's alive, indeed. Intertooth, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, I wonder where our bottleneck... Wait. I wonder where our bottleneck's going to be once that catches up again. We're going through an awful lot of scrap. Hmm. How many modules have we made lately? I imagine the prod nines have not really been... Okay, maybe they have been slowed down. 12 in the last hour. We've been doing 0.4 per minute over 10 hours, and the last hour was only 0.2. There was probably something... Something from that mistake that we just fixed. That leads to a bottleneck for the rock modules. Okay. 
not sure what to do next, and I'm definitely feeling a little bit overdue for a break. Um, since we've got so much irid uh, iridium ingot for the moment, I think now would be the perfect opportunity. Wait. We're going to leave these switched on. Uh, and we're just going to kill... The requesters for iridite and the direct belting for the iridite. Wait till that all drains out. And that'll be a lot easier to clean up the old builds. Replace them with better ones. I might actually end up wanting to move this build as well. But for starters, I think we'll just do a couple of them north and south of the Renato connection. How many prod nines do you have for the acid? For the acid? Well, we've made... Holy crap, I didn't even realize. We've made over a thousand prod nines all time. Uh, in my pocket, I have 22... I don't think there's any in the mall right now. Nope. Oh, I stand corrected. There's 12 prods, 8 speed, and then nothing else. Uh, we've got 47 speed modules, plus the 12. Quite a lot of efficiency modules. I've put those on hold for the moment. Uh, but yeah, we can expect 0.2 to 0.4 per minute on average. It is still pretty slow, even with uh, even when we do keep all of this saturated, which is pretty hard to do. What are we stuck on right now? What? Electronic components. Oh, let me guess. It traces back to rare metals somehow. Lithium, actually. Lithium chloride. Why is lithium chloride slow? Is it because it's all going into... Okay. Vitam launch stuff is catching up again. But lithium chloride is getting consumed like crazy. Maybe we need to build another one of these. Or at least half a one. Uh, so basically the reason we've got these matter assemblers here is with the tier 9 modules with just four machines and a quarter block uh, it actually consumes 1.76k mineral water per second. Uh, so if we're not able to supply that, even if it's literally just train traffic that's a problem, the matter assemblers kick in and they can supply uh, 2.1k per second. And I think it's like 5 to 1 or something? No, 10 to 1. Matter is a fluid as well. We bring 10 matter, it turns into 100 mineral water. That saves us nine train trips. Um, but we do have, like, consumption of the mineral water as a priority here. As opposed to matter. Anyway, uh, apparently we're not making enough lithium chloride. I might need to do another build over here. It's not depending on water or anything. The thing is, this build has direct belt. Like, it's offerings to the train network as well, but the priority is to direct belt to all of these very, very hungry builds. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we duplicate this or a quarter of it, at like a half of it, over here maybe. But we'll use, uh, what do you call it? encoded network IDs to tell it don't bother delivering over here. Mm. 
maybe. Let me just put a little tag here. In case I forget. Lithium chloride. Alright. It's about time to save. Set up some words. Save doesn't even look like it's started yet. We are currently scanning the biggest Vitamelange planet in the game so that we can get Biter Extinction. It's taking a long time. And the bigger the area that we've got explored, the longer a save takes. The UPS cost for having a big area explored is pretty negligible, but as you can see, the save, not so much. I think this is on an SSD as well. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, we finally have progress. Any day now. Meanwhile, words is good to go. What? How, how did I get item equals sand in the old clipboard? There we go. Resume. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, how are we doing? Almost perfected the level. Nice. And there it is. Fantastic. Very well done indeed. Silent Storm absolutely smashing it. Myriad, Steven. Very well done indeed. Let's continue with Factorio though. Uh, it's about time- oh no. Nalvis. Don't care. Okay, cool. Uh, I was gonna say, it's about time we check on Bellerophon. I don't think it's gonna be, uh, fully explored just yet, no. Impressive? Indeed. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Silent Storm. Welcome in. Yeah, um... So we've got these capsules that kill an awful lot of biters at a very long range. Uh, what's it called? Anti-biter virus capsule. The trouble is, the area has to be explored for the biters to actually die. And we've got this nine... almost 9k radius uh, planet that we need to fully explore before we can make all the biters disappear and then we can declare biter extinction. Well, almost basically biter extinction. If it's a biter media's planet, which is every Vitam Lange planet, uh, the biter threat will say 1%, but there won't be any more biters on the planet itself unless you let biter medias through. That is a really weird sight, seeing small biters next to behemoth worms. The, uh, the capsules, like, de-evolve the biters, weirdly enough. But yeah, it's not gonna be this stream, maybe not even the next, unless I spend some time off-stream. That we get to fully clear Bellerophon. Uh, but that said... I think we already have enough throughput from Bellerophon that this is staying saturated, right? 165 core frags per second. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we need a few more drills on Bellerophon. But then again, with the mining productivity 18, maybe that's not the case. We only have seven drills. 144 per second, though, that is most of what our pulverizers are asking for. Maybe I should just go add a few more. We've only got seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in relatively easy reach. Let's head over there. Because Vidomelange is the main bottleneck. Wait. No, I was going to say Vidomelange is the main bottleneck for our Prod 9 modules, which begets more Vidomelange. But I think we already established that for now, the actual... The blocks that process the Vidomelange, which we don't want to add any more of, are already fully saturated the Vitam Lange input. Okay. In that case... Wait, how many speed modules do we have? 47... Uh, 50... 55. Not what I was hoping for, but we should probably go and... put those into Vitam Lange. I think we calculated we need a bit less, or significantly less than 200 to finish the job, as some of these already have speed nines. How's our iridite looking? That's about what I expected. We're already halfway empty in the storage there. 
once we got rare metals back and started consuming all the iri iridium, iridite, iriditidium, iridium plate to make heavy composite and the even more expensive heavy assembly, which we need for speed modules. Uh, iridium go bye bye. Speaking of Iridium go bye-bye, how is this still full? What? What? We switched off the LT- oh, I forgot to kill the belts. GG. Uh, let's just turn all the loaders around. We want to drain out the current builds so that we can replace it with the new version that we just redesigned. And that shouldn't take too long considering how fast we eat uh, iridite. It's like 200 per second for this block, but it's so saturated might actually take a little while. Okay. What should we do in the meantime? Oh, what about... Uh, I completely forgot about our Arco collector ship. Anchor to... What the heck is this place called again? Asteroidia. Sure. Immediately put down our defenses. And then a whole lot of Arcosphere launches. I wonder if this is how we end up... That must... That might have something to do with it, with how we end up with imbalanced, um, out of sync launches. Okay, let's try that again. Might want to wait until the media defenses fully charge before we start consuming Arcosphere collectors. More, to, more importantly, creating Arcospheres. Uh, we can go ahead and get the first 50 launches ready to start, though. Fifteen percent. The media defense... The, the point defenses that are on the ship don't cover the whole area. So let's wait a little bit. Come back here in a couple of minutes. What shall we do in the meantime? I think we should make this uh, lithium chloride build. It's, what, 12 prod 9s? And I happen to have 22. Oh, didn't the... Sh didn't we just bring some down? Yeah, we did. Okay. Give me that. I think I would like to... Just copy this, and then we'll trim some stuff. How fast is one of these quarter blocks? 316 lithium chloride per second. Uh, where is the other lithium build? It's way over here. 
So maybe we should build it between the two? If we're going to think about direct belting. We've got tier 6 modules in. How fast are these? They want only 57 per second each. 115. Okay, so just one half of this is overkill. I'll probably still build it with the matter assemblers though. We might just use tier 6 modules for this one. Use uh, encoded network IDs to tell the trains not to bring it over here. I don't really care about building... Well... Okay, let's just build it and see what it looks like. First, though, we should probably... Kill the requesters... Until we're ready. Switch those back on. Okay. I don't think the construction train is carrying... Whatchamacallisms. Matter assemblers? Matter assemblers. Do we have those here? Or do we need to bring them from upstairs? It's right here. There's three. We're looking for four figures. Let's just go build what we can. Because I want to look at the rate that we get from this. Because I suspect we only need the one quarter block, even with tier 6 modules. To support lithium specifically. I guess I could move the other lithium build over here. And then we could direct belt to each side. Even though it's relatively slow. Just one more opportunity to save a train trip. It also brings the water closer to the... Uh, to the water supply. Also, this is a great opportunity... to move this stuff right now, because it's already emptied out. We'll consider it. In any case... If we put tier 6 modules in here... Four prods. Uh, what kind of setup do we need here? Plus 100%. Minus 80. Alright, so that should be way far. Oops. That should be way faster than we need for... Oh, I forgot to bring... Stabilizer charging stations. Won't worry about those right now. Uh, it should be way faster than we need for... Mineral water. It's not actually that much faster. Okay. Even so... Uh, how fast do we get the lithium? 172 per second. Which is... More than enough for two of these. That seems fine. And I think I do want to take the opportunity... To move that other block... It's only a few more machines, let's just double this. And... Am 
might just empty my pockets for a second. There's not that much lithium to pick up. I could maybe just click delete on the chlorine. Fifty-four thousand. Okay, why don't we get the chlorine picked up? But I'll take the lithium away. Oh. There we go. How much more is here? Practically none. And once that fluid is taken... We'll have the decon train come and pick this up. Obviously we don't care about deleting water. Okay. We need one more matter assembler. There's plenty up here. Send this guy upstairs. And actually, uh, come downstairs as soon as you have matter assembler. Hey, can I just ask, what is the size of your space train wagon size? Is it the default 60 or something else? 50. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the space train cargo wagons and fluid wagons are 20% bigger than vanilla. 50 stacks or 30,000 fluid. Wait, what is this? What? Oh, right, this is the new build. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, what? How did this get broken like this? Uh, I guess, actually... Okay, wait. Instead of getting the construction train to bring the electrolysis plants, let's get the decon train to pick them up. And we'll use the exact same buildings. I'm not going to worry about 336 chlorine. Although I do wonder how the train didn't pick it up. The train came there for like 44,000 or something. And then we added wait for inactivity. Maybe I, maybe I set it to or inactivity or something. Alright, should be able to pick all that up all at once, since the containers were pretty much empty. Hopefully we don't run out of robot charge. Nah. Not sure what's up with these hoverbots, I don't think they belong to this train actually. Yeah, they belong to this block here. Reza, 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 Reza. Alright, move the decon train over yonder. I'll go pick up those bots, I guess. Uh, we'll dump this lithium over here. Jack Cyber, welcome in. And why do we even have construction bots in this block? That's actually a pretty good question. Give him back. 
We have five whole Logibots, but that's actually as many as we need just to move the charged space train power packs around. We used to do belt spaghetti, but I think it's probably more UPS friendly. Actually, do we have any of those belt spaghetti... Uh, yeah, we do. We've got deliberately limited uh, discharged power packs on one side of the belt so that we have room to take them out of the trains and the other side for charged packs. I imagine it's more UPS friendly to have a small bot network. Okay. We need to pick up the stabilizer charging stations as well. Oh, is this all built? Nary a ghost insight. I noticed one piece of lithium would have ended up back in the train. Also, can we get this uh, lithium chloride back? Don't want to send that back to the mall. even distro and we can switch these back on they're already switched on so why are you oh i was gonna say why are we taking so long to drop off the water here you know what let's change this uh where did i leave my stuff yoink It takes a surprising, surprisingly long time, uh, much longer, for the fluid to be dropped off if it goes through these pipes. That water pipe is going to be a bit of a nuisance, though. These are all connected. We could do it from here. Okay. We could also upgrade the pipes while we're at it. There's another train coming with water because I didn't tell LTN how much we've got fast enough. it. Alright, uh, pipe upgrade planner goes like this. Probably not going to be carrying enough for the one trip. Oops, forgot to connect this. Okay. So we just need to make sure water gets everywhere. Back to the mall with you. Come back with more stuff, please. Actually, come to think of it, the pipes might be in the wrong cargo wagons. Yeah, that's going to get messed up. Hopefully it'll come back without any loading issues. We can detect what's in each individual... We, we can't detect what's in each individual cargo wagon. We can detect what's in the train as a whole. So when stacks get split, things get messy. Start running out of space when we shouldn't. 
Uh, we brought back the... Whatchamacallisms. Where am I standing right now? Let's just fly back. The Matter Assembler. We only needed one. I don't know if we've got a request for it over here at the moment. I don't think so. And the other thing was called... Stabilizer Charging Station. Uh, and we only need four of those. On the way, ten. Fantastic. Cool. Did we finish this build? I think so. 229,000... Pretty sure all of these are connected. Looks that way. Okay, cool. And we need yet another trip to finish upgrading the pipes. Good gravy. Let's go finish this build. And we'll get rid of... the direct belts that were already here. Kevin, thank you very much for the 19 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I was bracing for the text-to-speech, but it never came. Okay. Maybe I'll just set this as below normal priority for pickup. So we can take uh, lithium chloride from here over to here, but we probably won't. That is a lot of wiring. For some reason, it looks a bit more imposing from this angle. Uh, anyway, let's turn on our requesters again. And... I also want to upgrade... the pipes and stuff on this block while we're at it. It'll drive me crazy knowing that one of these blocks has the fluid stuff updated and the other does not. I'm going to be lazy this time and just let the trains bring more water. Um, and then we want upgraded pipes and this goes here, this goes here. Uh, and I'm realizing those two pipe to grounds are redundant. Okay. Construction train won't be able to do too much on this lap. But we may as well try. And then one more. And that probably won't be enough. Wait, where did I just send it to? Or did it already leave? I'm confused. No, it is trying to get over here. Okay. Matter... Assemblers are already good to go, or at least they're waiting for matter. 
Surprised that's not scheduled to be delivered yet. Oh, then again, all of the individual spots where we accumulate matter are quite slow. Even if we've got a lot lying around in general. Alright. Oh, and I forgot to add the direct belt. Um, how am I going to squeeze this in? 57 per second for the whole block. It barely takes more than one machine to support that. I think instead of trying to squeeze it through here somewhere, also this is part of the old direct belt stuff. Maybe it'll be easier than I thought. If we start with this... Wait. If we actually do start with this, two belts will be more than enough. Uh, that needs to be on the opposite side. No way, it's going to be a little bit asymmetrical. I think I'd rather just thread it down this way. You're still waiting for steel pipe. So, like that. No, like that. That's going to look weird. That is also going to look weird. straight into there. I guess... No, that kind of demands... I, I, I need to stop requesting lithium chloride from the trains if we're going to do it like this. Up. And across. I'm not sure why we're not producing lithium here yet. Because we didn't turn these requests on yet. It's going to take a while before we get matter. And we want to consume mineral water as a priority in any case. Okay. That should do it. We need... how much? 57, yeah, way less than one purple belt to support this block. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Wait, what? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Oh, it's because of the asymmetry of the advanced chemical plants. Uh, okay. That goes there. That goes there. That goes... All the way over here. And here. here, and here, and then stop requesting lithium chloride. 
Okay. Cool. Need to go just a bit further to the east to get the other half of this block going. Uh, we do have enough machines. Yeah, we checked. Plus 114 lithium per second. In fact, we're bottlenecking on removing it from here with the belts. Which is fine. As long as all of this wants less than 90 lithium chloride per second, it will saturate. Now, why aren't we doing that on this side yet? Because there's a single splitter missing. Okay. Instruction train. I am asking you once more to go over here. And if these two trips aren't enough to finish the pipe upgrades, if they're not done already, I'd be very surprised. Dada Gnome, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Looks like there is a ghost splitter. Yes, there is. Okay, here we go. Speaking of ghosts, we did get all of the pipes sorted out. I'm going to empty the construction train once it gets back, just to rebalance, reset the position of all the items. But that should be a more reliable lithium supply, by which I mean I'd be shocked if it isn't constantly saturated again. How's rare metals since we fixed it? Pretty good, actually. Okay. So it was just that dirty water got messed up. Maybe we should vent the dirty water if it gets super full. It's not like I value the trickle of uh, stone and copper that we get out of it. Yeah, we should probably put in emergency venting over here. Uh, stack? Flare stack? Is this in range of the mall? It's like just barely out of range. Okay. Am I carrying a flare stack? Nope. What I am carrying is spaceship rocket engines. No train to deliver fluids on Hagen. Alright. Let's add at least one more. And away you go. Cool, cool, cool. And now that we have a last resort pickup for lithium chloride to support these builds, I'd be shocked if... Uh... Oh, we actually got rid of the request for lithium chloride by train here as well. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about... That means we're not sending lithium chloride anywhere, right? By train? These containers are just for decoration. No, we do need it for genetic data. It goes up the space elevator. That's fine. Also, no. We're direct belting it for Vitalik Reagent. That's okay. Moonball, welcome in. Think venting dirty water produces stone? Oh. Let's find out. 
Let us see. I forgot to connect this. And now there's too much water. There we go. Nice and saturated. Lithium is a little bit slow, so it might need to play catch up for a little while. Into the mall we go. Why don't I just grab a flare stack from the construction train? If I can remember where it goes. Do we even normally carry flare stacks? I don't think so. Oh, nope. I'm completely wrong. Yatu Watu, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. It does. So it does. That's inconvenient. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with stone here. Actually, no. We could do that. All we have to do is make this. Oh, oh my God! Really? No, that's not going to be difficult. We can just put this here. Make this into both a solid and a fluid uh, high priority pickup. So it's going to be stone and dirty water. But it's only going to be stone as a last resort. I don't have a splitter. Alright, so we're going to have a pump. It's going to be conditional. Uh, if... Dirty water. It is dirty water, right? Not dirty holmium water or something. Uh, if it's getting close to 250k. Then we're going to flare stack it. Why don't I put it under the beacon? Gonna need to get the stone on this side anyway. Can I can I take the stone out with a loader? I imagine the answer is yes. I don't see why not. There it goes. Um, we're one loader short. I see how it is. That's actually pretty cozy. Yep, there it goes. Cool, cool, cool. I actually have some... S Rude. I was going to say, I actually have some stone right here. We can confirm that that works. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's actually a pretty neat little fix... Uh, if we somehow have a similar problem, like if, if dirty water here is overwhelmed and we learn the hard way, uh, this will at least start turning some of the dirty water. How, how fast can this produce dirty water? 413 per second. Um, this one flare stack can get rid of 225. Make it 260. Sure. Okay, so at the absolute worst, we'll get a trickle of stone. 
and we'll still get some rare metals. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty elegant. Cool. What shall we do next? Bellerophon is no doubt still horribly far away from being fully explored. We are still scanning it, right? Yeah, there it is. Just another 600 million chunks to go. Oh, has Iridite drained out yet? Looks like the answer is yes. There's an awful lot of crushed Iridite here still, though. Presumably it's about the same over here. Nope. Nope, this one's empty. Alright, cool. Let's get a train. Let's get a train. Maybe the drop-offs are not... Uh, not hungry right now. This one's basically empty. Oh, so now you're picking up from that. Yeah, that's what I thought. How inconvenient. Oh, here we go. Okay, you can wait for inactivity. Because there's basically invisible inserters built into these. And in the same way that inserters can stick out on the tracks holding items that don't get counted by the containers, uh, the same thing can happen here. So that gets rid of the last of that. Let's get rid of the last of the sand as well. And then we'll go build... Well, I actually kind of want to get rid of the... the centrifuge build. So we can build it directly to the north of the Renato or Frank processing. Oh, wait, 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 wait for an activity. There we go. There we go. Cool. This block is ready for decon. I do have some spiders that can do the job, as opposed to the decon train. The only trouble is they walk a little bit slowly. It's pretty far away. I think we'll use the decon train. Decon train can kind of run out of energy, though. And or too many items get put in the one cargo wagon and the bots get stuck or confused. Okay. That might just be Dunsky. No further action. I guess I could make the decon train do another lap just to be sure, but it looks like it won't be necessary. As for this one, there's still an awful lot of backed up resources. Oh, we do have bots hovering. Is it just because of recharge? Nope, nope, nope. I don't want, I don't want you bringing the iridite back here. I didn't realize there'd be so much still stuck in the machines. Oops. Let's go give him a helping hand. There's no spaceships 
to accidentally step onto over here. Haven't checked on copper in a while. It's actually a little bit concerning. Hmm. I thought we did... I thought we... I thought we had overkill for our copper production. But with how empty some of these containers are, I'm feeling a bit sketchy about it. Still got so many old cargo rocket sections. How many are in the mall right now? Cargo rock. Holy bananas. 834 times 5 plus 160. Yeah, there's, there's literally thousands of them left over from the cargo rocket days. Alright. Give me this freaking iridite back. And I'll go find somewhere appropriate to dump it. Like, over here. Might actually take a couple of trips. No wonder the other block is taking so long to run out. If there was this much just stashed in the input-output of the machines. I don't want to send this stuff back to the mall. Alright, that's Dunsky. Okay. Maybe I should decon these one at a time. Make the most of what's left. Okay, maybe not one at a time. How about all but the last column or something? Or even all but the last machine. Uh, this time nothing? What? I'm so confused. I am... Very confused. Let's just add the inactivity condition. Cool. Okay. Shouldn't be too much longer before all this uh, crushed iridite has been consumed. Then we can get rid of these blocks as well. Actually, we know we're going to need more than one, so I guess we could start with these two. Actually, no, no, no. I want to do one to the north, one to the south of where we've got the Renato core frag throughput to start with. And the south is vacant. Wait, what have you got? Everything you need? Fantastic. Yep, 
Oops. Now I've got some iridite in my pockets. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> okay. I guess I could put it in here. And then we need the construction train. I'm, I'm carrying a lot of stuff from those builds, actually. Did I even blueprint it? I think it's just in the editor, not blueprinted yet. The new Iridite build. Scamming Bellerophon? We are absolutely going to scam the hell out of Bellerophon. All the core frags we can get. Where's the floor train? Wow, it is taking its sweet time. Okay. Uh, bots off. Jump into the editor. Make a blueprint. I guess I'll leave the direct belt stuff in. And ingot. T9 iridium ingot. Tiles, train stop names, snap to remove the cheat inputs. 86251. And that should be it. Right next to... Did we not blueprint the... Uh... No, we did. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the tier 9 module icon. That just shows that this is like end game. Okay. So we'll build that right about here. Uh, it's asking for prod nines. I definitely can't fill this whole thing with prod nines. Where, if anywhere, should we prod nine? I think we'll just prod six this for now. I'm not that worried about iridite. Saving it for Vita is more important. We need some centrifuges. Maybe I'll steal them from here. If we're just about done. Good timing. Um, there's already trains coming. No path. Because there's not enough rail. All right, construction train. Whoops. Over here, please. I think it's already carrying furnaces. I could be wrong. And this is on tier six modules, please. That doesn't actually include it, does it? Give those back for now. Mm, maybe it would be easier to do it like this. Should probably get the construction train to stop because this is going to take too long. Alright, uh, plus 460, plus 160, minus 80. 
Rod six, please. There we go. Uh, I don't want these prod nines either. I said I don't want these in here yet. We need a steam turbine. Well, we don't strictly need what we kind of do. The ghost won't act as a pipe after all. Uh, 900, 300, two megawatt each? What's the ratio like? Uh, a little bit negative for Iridium Blast Cake. Still a little bit negative for Iridium Blast Cake. So I guess we'll leave it like that. Alright, that's all prod sixed. No, sneaky. Why do we have holding him? No! Oh no. Oh no. I forgot to fix the train stops. These are the wrong beads. The pyroflux is where it's not supposed to be. We don't want sand here. Oh boy. How many more trains are coming with the wrong stuff? I mean, Pyroflux is the right stuff, but... But we're not reading the... Fluids. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Maybe I should just delete some of this. Okay, so Pyroflux is supposed to be on this side. We want to read from the logistic train stop output to determine which fluid we're supposed to be picking up. This one is supposed to be Hydrogen chloride. At least we've got that handy. Um, we can figure something out here. Hydrogen chloride. Alright, but first... Depending on where I place this, it's going to be a bit arduous. Let's do it like this. Pump away all that pyro flux, please. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that makes these mistakes with LTN, indeed. Yeah, that's why I generally recommend having the requesters, the constant combinators switched off in the blueprints. Providers don't matter if they're left switched on, because you have to have something there. Um, why don't we get a spooder? request a singular turbine if I can find it oh there it is steam turbine exactly one wait yes and we'll have the construction spiders mosey on down to get that one job done. Alright. We're already done pumping the pyroflux. Wow. 
I would have thought there'd be a little pyroflux left in these pipes over here, but apparently not. There's actually zero fluid in this fluid network. I'm a little bit shocked by that. Uh, so now we need the copious... That is a lot of hydrogen chloride. That's 250k. This stores 200. Oof, owie. Uh, in any case, we need to pump it over this way. Probably delete some of it. That should get it pushed through as quickly as possible. What's our rate at the moment? 2.3k per second, but it's going to get slower as this empties. So we're looking at a few minutes of pumping, I think. Where are the spiders? Wow, okay. Uh, holmium or holmonite is no good. Um, the sand is already gone. I guess it was exactly one train load. Convenient. It should be exactly a train load or two of Holmanite. I guess I could, uh... I, I guess I could persuade it to appear in these containers. And I'll just pick up what's left on the belt. What? Oh. This little incongruity looks weird. No, don't take it back to the... Don't take it back to the construction train. It's only stack size 20, so it's actually draining out super fast. Wait, what's coming? What? Oh, you already finished your job? Wait, what are you doing there? Oh, because it's got the same train stop name. Why is it still yellow, though? Whatever. Pick up the last of this Holmanite. Put it in here. It should be exactly... Why are we three Holmanites short of a train load? <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to set the provide threshold to 99 stacks. <laughs> Excuse me. We did name this station earlier. Yeah, we did. Why are these lights still yellow? Why are we bunking? It's still on the belt? So it is. Sneaky. Alright, yep, exactly three. Alright, put that back to 100. It might take a little while for Holmanite to get carted away because it gets direct belted uh, to be consumed to actually become Holmium. And... There are other stations supplying this Holmium deletion machine. Holmanite deletion. Uh, I guess I can crank up the priority. Uh, 
That leaves blue balls. The bluest of balls. I guess if I... Well, we'll wait till the train comes with the Holmanite and then I'll shove it in here. That'll be easiest. I might just... Delete undo. Why does that kill the wire connection? Alright, so this station needs to say... Iridite and nitric acid. Is what it's requesting. Leave no trace of Holmanite, thank you. Wait, no, this doesn't help. Uh, I forgot it would end up in all of these. It's fine. It's not actually fine. This is Pope 100. Okay. Uh, and we're making iridium ingots with advanced furnaces. And this station is going to have the same thing except two red solids, one red fluid. Red solid, red solid, red fluid is what's being brought over here. Also hydrogen chloride, I almost forgot. One point five one point five train loads of enriched vulcanite. Actually we've got plenty of room. Let's make it ten K. But the enriched vulcanite gets consumed rather slowly, so it's not really that big of a deal. All right, just double check our fluids go where they're supposed to. Looks good. How much longer till we empty this? Too long. All right, there's the end of those beads. Let's actually make sure we pick them all up this time. thousand. Try not to run into a train. One, two, three, four more stacks. I'm pretty sure if I put exactly two train loads in here, what's going to happen is the first train gets scheduled. And then the invisible inserters are sticking out, holding beads that don't get counted. Alright. There should be a train scheduled to come here pretty soon. We did set the priority super high, right? Yeah. I guess I could speed this up. If I get rid of a couple of these, turn all of these into pumps.
Oh, we're full. That's why it stopped. Sure, I'm just going to delete the rest of this. No! The pump was not considered to be a separator. We just deleted 200k volume chloride that we didn't intend to. It's fine. I mean, it'll literally take like a minute to get it back. We've got such a big build for supplying it. Anyway. Uh, why have we not taken a away the beads? It's a mystery. Probably because it actually takes a while to consume beads. Oh, wow. This is a great problem to have, but, um... Holmium is completely saturated, it looks like. Which means we're not consuming... We're not consuming beads very quickly right now. Yeah, most, most of the Holmium blocks are saturated. Very good problem to have, but I guess it means I should manually take these beads elsewhere right now. We'll use the spider's storage as well. Right up over here. Don't step over where the spaceship goes. Research stuck? Yeah, it has been for a while. Oh, it jumped up another 17%. Looks like it's moving at the moment because we're not getting that notification. Yeah, it is. Womp, 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 womp. Alright. Beads. Oh my god. Maybe I should in yeah, em empty my inventory a bit more first. If I can get all of the beads out of the spider, then we can start using Shift-C. By then the job's finished. Okay. That's a lot of beads. One more trip. We brought a train load with the one trip, so one more will do it. Oh, and we want to adjust this for direct belt input. Wait, where are the... Oh. Haven't done it yet. The usual spots where we put the direct belting. Gonna want a different uh, filter here. should say iridite. Uh, and then... Let's see. That's going to turn into a half belt. Rude. I didn't think of that. 
Uh, the other one's pretty easy though, right? Kinda. Awkward. It's actually super awkward. doesn't help. I guess we turn this into this. Into this, into this, into this. So that merges in over there. Oh, I forgot. The way I'm going, we're going to end up with... Um... Wait, wh why don't I just... Because if we bypass the containers, then we're going to be using the trains when we don't need to. Mm. The positioning of these containers is very awkward. Oh wait, I think I see what we can do here. Hold on, how fast is this? In version with prod nines, fifty two per second. Stone station broken, uh, indeed. Wait, what? Uh, oh, right. I forgot to put this back. That's why. Also, why is there a little bit of... S oh, there's supposed to be a little bit of sand. Mm. Technically, I could do this. It doesn't look great, but the whole thing needs less than a belt anyway. I don't like it. Uh, and this one can just go straight in here. There should be iridite flowing. There it goes. I don't love this, but at the same time... Well, no, I don't, because this one's going to fill twice as fast. Ugh, do I need to add a little squiggly belt? Or maybe... Oh my god. Please. Stop. Please. I beg. Go back. So I can use item on ground. I see what I can do. It's not great. It's the least bad. I could live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. That's not too bad. Okay. So we've got... Iridite supplied by train, but primarily uh, supplied by belt. 
It'll only be supplied by train if we're running low. If some other block is supplying it. And we're not trying to direct belt everything to everything. Okay, now what? The other station is not switched on. Because we haven't gotten rid of the blue balls. That's it? I thought there would have been another hundred stacks remaining. Okay, let's get rid of it. Probably up here. And... No, 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 don't steal. Don't touch my blue balls. Okay. Uh, we just need to switch this on, right? Yeah. And this needs to say iridite. Just a couple of train loads. Uh, and instead of hydrogen chloride, it's nitric acid. Okay. Okay, I think this block is finally going to be functional. Feel sorry about your blue balls, right? Blue balls ruining everything. Well, blue balls and holmanite and fluids where they're not supposed to be. Alright, let's drop them off here. Cool, that was easier than we thought. And back to the build, although it may require no further attention. We hope. Hydrogen chloride. Wait. No, we've... Yeah, we're waiting for hydrogen chloride over here because we accidentally deleted it. Here it comes. And... Nitric acid. I'm not sure why that's not showing up. Nitric acid, negative 120... Whoa! Negative 120k. Um, where are we making nitric acid? Good question. I thought I knew. I know we moved it. Uh, at this rate, I might have to search. Uh, tag nitric acid. It's over here. Oh, we moved it all the way almost to the other side of the base. No wonder I wasn't finding it. So we've definitely got it. We've got loads of it. Why isn't it being delivered? Uh, is this not connected? Well, there's your problem. Far left, indeed. Uh, Luta, welcome in. Alright. And there's actually two trains bringing nitric acid because I requested 120k. We have seen this build work in the editor, but obviously we want to make sure it's actually functional before we go and ignore it. Let me just double check. Yeah, we're only getting sand there. Okay. Switch that on. Here it comes. We have motion. We have iridium powder. 
we have all of these centrifuges activating almost at the same time. And we have blast cake. Beautiful. Are the ratios still pretty good with tier 6? Slightly negative on blast cake. Slightly negative on crushed iridite. A little bit more negative than I would like on iridium powder. Slightly negative on... Well, no, very negative on beads because they're imported. Pretty slow, actually, the bead consumption. Alright, that's pretty good still. And there it is. Alright, what was our rate? Did we stop making it over here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. What was our rate of iridium ingot before? I'm not that interested in max rate. I want to know, like, over the last 10 hours, 700 per minute. Okay, seven or eight hundred per minute, let's say. How fast is this by itself per minute? 134. Uh, so like six builds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we could use the same space. I ignoring that we're going to do tier nine modules eventually. Uh, we could use the exact same amount of space to keep up with what we were doing before. Only it's... it involves far fewer train trips. And we've got the... small stack size items being moved by belts a lot more. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so time to build... five more of these. Perhaps. Oops. Wait, what? There we go. Is that the decon train? No. What's going on here? You're not picking up any more powder. And there's no signals here. Okay. Pretty happy with that, though. We'll duplicate it a few more times off-stream. Keep the scanning of Bellerophon going. Throw some Bite of Virus capsules, clear it out. Add a few more drills, though it really won't take many more to bottleneck on Hagen. Unless we want to add more Arco Link storages, like we really could add. I don't know. We we could. We could add two more belts going into this, or we could like direct belt. Instead of adding more uh, link chests, we could maybe direct belt from here to another block or something. Probably a lot easier just to make more Arco Link storages though even though they are terrifyingly finite. Uh, speaking of Arco chests, why don't we launch some collectors before we go today? Now we'll start looking for someone to raid. Fifty Arcosphere collectors launched simultaneously. And we're gonna do it uh, nine more times before we pack up and bring back about forty Arcospheres. Jeez. <laughs> yes, jeez. Many jeez. 
Okay. Who are we going to raid today? Anyone doing SE? Uh, yes, but not in English. Uh, anyone, anyone familiar? One online. Sure, it's been a while since we raided one online. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Merry Christmas to all. They are all waiting for a signal? Oh yeah, uh, so basically we're just... Uh, we just use constant combinators to feed negative 49, uh, to all of these inserters with set filters black, uh, set filters whitelist. So when there's actually 50 of these, it adds up to positive one. Simple as that. Nice, indeed, indeed. Alright, I'll let the raid timer run out so you can maybe see more of this. <laughs>